hopefully. Takes a little while. I could oh, have no. sworn Connor was going to say sink. I could sink! Have sworn. Ah! Damn it, damn it. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> It oh, literally, man. it literally went off as the stream started. Ah, a classic as uh, always. Uh, also, Twitch got a new overlay, the like, new update. It did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put it back. No, kinda, not change. I, my least I favorite. I kind of like it because your icon is now at the bottom left of the actual stream, so you can see people's like. Oh, I didn't get this. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, mine didn't show up on that either. I get home. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm I'm still I'm still in old man time. Come on, Twitch, get it together. Yes, they have a bias towards Canadians or something. I mean, can you blame one? Uh, yes, I can. Answer. We're we're yes. running a little late. There was a bit of a dog snafu today, so yeah, that it, it, it solved itself uh, in a lot of ways. Hi guys, think, welcome to I, welcome I to think, the Unexpectables. I'm short of breath. <laughs> I'm short of breath. I short of breath. I I have to say, like I'm I don't. It was stressful, but I think my favorite part of it was the fact that Gregor was on his way back home. He was just like, all right, I'm coming back. Because <laughs> he heard me yelling. I, oh, I, I finally fine. used my loudness for good, you know, <laughs> instead of evil, like I have for so long. Uh, <laughs> uh, hi, guys. Uh, my uh, we, Welcome to the Unexpectables. We're joined, as always, by Distortion Devil. Distortion Devil. Hey, it's me. Where can they find your TikTok? Uh, well, you can find my TikTok at Distortion Devil. You can also find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil as well, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesday is my uh, Ring Fit Adventure slash um, WWE 220 stream, which I call Roll Initiative Wrestling RIW. It uses the chat's D&D characters as wrestlers. Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I Im imbibe some, some liquids and I play a lot of games with my friends. Saturday, uh, we uh, have finished Devil May Cry, and we are moving on to Bayonetta, and that's going to be interesting because I have never played Bayonetta before. Really? I should have. Yeah, you'd think, right? Like, huh. And let me play Among the Stars. Well, are, are, are you playing the original or the, or the remake for, like, the, uh, the Switch? Uh, I have the Steam version. I don't know which one that is, so uh, we'll, okay. we'll find out. I, uh, I don't want to, like... Every person I've met who who's played Bayonetta fucking loves Bayonetta, and I don't know, like why. She's amazing. I've, I've heard she's I've heard she's pretty good. Okay. So anyway. and then on Sundays we'll be uh, doing some <clears throat> fitness boxing, and then in the later half of the stream we'll be making some Devil May Cry Five mods, which I've been getting back into. And uh, oh boy, it's a, a wide world of making stuff different and in a game with a weird code. But here we go. <laughs> Put in the bullions, Connor. Uh, Type in the bullions. But yeah, um, Zito, where can they find you? Oh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and uh, Evering and Almanac on Patreon. Uh, homebrew shit. Uh, nothing's been happening so much because I'm trying to get all the artwork done for the fawn, so that will be coming out next. But every time I do, Theros is there looking at me from the middle distance, like Wizards is watching me or some fucking bullshit. Uh, <laughs> uh, beyond that, uh, indie games happen on my stream and a fuck ton of Rivals of Aether mods. I too have been jumping back into the modding scene. And now I apparently have created a platypus character, finally a duck character. And, or a duck light character, and now so I'm fucking a, working on the artwork a, for it. Well, well, you're making a Phineas and a Phineas and Ferb extension, or or a Scoot extension. You know, it can work either which way. <laughs> oh, it's, it, that character's gonna have that voice. Don't mark my words. Dude, that that that's going to be in vanilla. <laughs> so, guys and Goombas here too. Oh, really? Woo! Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey everyone, Gaijin Goomba here. You know what I'm about. I've been doing this for eight years now. I have some fantastic freaking news. Would you like to hear the better news or the best news first? Oh god, I can't pick. <laughs> I hate choice. All right, fine. I'll I'll do the better. So uh, I've got a new video up on my YouTube channel at the moment. Uh, it is talking about the 1,000-year-old vendetta between uh, foxes and tanuki and how it has everything to do with Animal Crossing's Tom Nook and um, Crazy Red. It's doing, it is doing better than any video has done in probably two years. It is kind of nuts. Nice. Um, so there's that. Although the biggest announcement... 
the Tanuki race that I've been working on with Zito and and Willy Boo. I have to I have to credit Willy, Willy Boo as well, uh, but mostly Zito. You son of a bitch! I love you. Uh, it is done. It is done, and it is currently silver. And it's it got actually, silver in forty eight hours. It got silver in forty eight hours and is number nine on the top ten. So mm. I'll just put it in a couple times. Well, one more. I, I, I know, guys, and you know, somehow uh, you, you kind of like overveered me by one. So we have a kind of a uh, hey Hachi, my Mishima problem going on here. So uh, one of us is going to have to die, and I feel like the old uh, is going to destroy the young in this situation. No, see, oh, you're God. going to die because I'm going to heap praise upon you, and you hate praise. You hate it when I say that you're a wonderful man who helped me get this started and and told me how to code and prevented me from screwing up by not having that logo in there. So Joke's no, on you. you. I learned how to parry. The Zaibatsu will continue. I got fucking time travel. I'm immortal. You can't stop this. Oh, well, I Either have way, everything. someone's getting thrown into a volcano. And I'm yep, yep, and it's gonna be this guy right here, Gaijin Goomba. Well, hey, I'll, I'll say this. Um, this is my very first homebrew. Uh, really quick, it is created with the tech balance. Again, Zito, thank you for that. It's a really good system. Um, uh, it, it has folklore out the ass. I did so much research for fluff. A ton of stuff is in there. Um, and then lastly, I have my first homebrew spell, which is mundane polymorph, which is, hey, kids, do you want to turn into a cup or a coin or something equally worthless to quickly hide? Uh, it works pretty well. It's it's pretty well balanced. You cannot move, attack, or do anything, but man, it's it's... It's fun to be a jacket, let me tell you. Hello, uh, it's me, a salt shaker. How are you doing, you fellow be, kids? You, you can be a salt shaker if you so desire. So anyway, uh, one more jacket. time. Jacket. One, two, one or two more times. Please go check it out. Um, if you do like it, please also leave a comment and rate it, because unlike YouTube, it matters here. It's su it stupidly fucking matters if you review someone's work, because then yeah, it gets it really more does. visibility on the website. Mm -hmm. Well, I like... So. It's it's really it's also really nice to get feedback too. Like even, yes, I need yeah. that. I need that too, yeah. Brett. Because this is this is the first and hopefully a very long line of uh, playable yokai races and and other like folklore races I want to put together. So thank you guys. I love you. Yeah, Monty. Where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, where I'm gonna be posting more stuff. I hope you like it because it's a lot of Resident Evil and a lot of Animal Crossing and a lot of art that I got commissioned. I got a really nice commission coming in from Miss Tweedums that I hope to post eventually. Um, you can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue, where uh, my streaming schedule got messed up because I got sick. But hopefully tomorrow uh, we'll be doing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I really, really want to finish up that game so I can move on to Devil May Cry. Um, so I'm hoping to finish that all up. Uh, and then on Sundays, I'm playing Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, which we're at the final part of the game, which doesn't say very much because the final part of the game is ridiculously long. Like, it's it's so disbalanced how long the final section of the game is. Um, so definitely, definitely check that out. Um, and then uh, on Saturdays, if you guys uh, are only watching The Unexpectables, we actually have another show called The Prince Division. Uh, and currently, it's really taken, like, it's really at an interesting point in the story. Um, for those of you guys who haven't checked it out yet, definitely check it out. Uh, and can I just promote one more thing? Is that okay? Yeah, Dadeen. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Don't have to ask okay. me for permission. Uh, for those of you guys who are not part of the Discord yet, uh, apparently there's a contest going on in the Discord. Oh. Uh, it's I think it's being heralded by Shahalem. Uh, we've had a we've had a contest in the past. This is this is kind of a fan thing. Uh, definitely check out the Discord and check that out because um, it's not, I think it's like wanted posters. You have to make a character who's on a wanted poster. Uh, which is kind of fun, like in the world of Alabast. Um, so definitely, definitely check out the Discord if you just want to, you know, meet with other people who are watching the show. Just be warned, there is spoilers. Um, and then I sometimes poke my head in and, and chirp in every now and again. So definitely, definitely check out the Discord, the contest they have there, and the content we have there as well. Hi guys, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where uh, tomorrow is Multiverse Nexus Wrestling. We're on the road to our big show here in about six weeks. And proceeds will be going to COVID charity. It's our big wrestling community generated event. And there's a lot of fun to be had as well. Today, I beat Remnant with the help of Princess Boots and Arkov. Very uh, nice. From the ashes. Very fun game. It is It is the Dark Tower meets Dark Souls meets Diablo meets Skyrim, but with guns. I don't know. It's just a fun quote. I always, I'll always love that. Now one. go back and get every single item and 100% it. Uh, you know what, dude? I think I, 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 you know what? I, I save time. I'm good.
And by the way, the last <laughs> boss fight is literally a Persona boss fight, and I was like, "Oh, Excellent. it's stupid!" Eh? It's... I, I know it is. I just that's, so after the first wipe, we I came back in there. We were playing last surprise fighting it, so that was a bit better. <laughs> and we won that time uh, as well. I'm switching gears over to another game sometime uh, this week, uh, and I made the horrible mistake of uh, of I, I was on Twitter, which was you know already a mistake. But uh, the, an anime was being adapted, and it is a terrible anime. And I read the first couple of chapters of the manga it's based on. It's called World's End Harem, and it is as bad oh, as it no. sounds. No. I, oh, oh, my oh. God. You thought, you thought, you thought Interspecies Reviewer was going to be a rough watch. Oh, no. I watched, me... I watched one episode of that show, and it was I haven't seen the rest of it, but the, the episode I saw was actually pretty good of that Interspecies Reviewer. Like, it, 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 um, imagine that with none of the tact oh, okay. and none of the comedy. None of the comedy. None of the anything except the sex. That's oh, right. Oh, oh my god! How are they making this? Didn't so they it's learn? Just porn. No. It's just porn. It is. It is. Oh my lord! I I don't know. But anyways, guys, yes, I might just do an audio review of it and Look, simplify boy. it in the most simplified way possible. God, it's all tripe. But anyways, guys, we got a lot of subs and bits to get through here. I'm gonna try and get through them the quickest I can here. Apologies, I am still a little bit short of breath. As just so everyone knows. Uh, my mom, uh, uh, my mother's dog, and my dog uh, got out through a fence that we thought was uh, uh, like a gate we thought was closed and was not closed. So th we had to go separate directions. And running while having a panic attack is a fun thing. So uh, the thing is, we found the dogs. And hilariously, okay. Gregor, hilariously, Gregor was like walking back to the house. Uh, he was done. He's like, I'm good. <laughs> He's like, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to go home now. Uh, yeah. So he. Um, yeah, so that that happens. So that's why we're a little bit running a little bit late here because I actually had to like, like my it just if my chest physically hurt by the end of that. So, yeah, but hey, but nonetheless, we had a lot of people I got to thank here. So I'm gonna jump right into it here. A fat fatty tatties. Amazing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. You needed oh. that, didn't you? No, it really hurts. Uh, fatty Taddy. I'm, hell, I might I might have Connor sub in here. I might, I might tag you in so because I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. get, get all the heat and you get the hot tag here halfway allow, through. Sound allow good? me to allow me to pull fatty. it open. I'll get it going. <laughs> fatty Taddies. Uh and Doro the Insane, Dragon One Dude for a Constable Mutton, Gently, Senpai, Cup of Squid, Lunatic Crow, Lunatic Crow 84, 10,000 Armored Bees, Zeus Moves, Vertexes, and Neo Tora Kuma, The Hand in the Iron Fist, SSF Shadow, Ragnaroth, RPG Russia 96, Scam Man 93, H Lone Heart, Shivering Wolf 99. Uh, Crimson Salamander, Mark Wolf, Retro Royal Knight. Thank you all for the subs. Sloth. 51 OTH1 with five subs gift to the community. Thank you so freaking much. As well, I want to thank Zeus Moose for the bits as well. Uh, we're not going to be able to call all the bit drops here. I do apologize unless we have enough time. Yeah, we have time. We have, I'm going to give you like another like 17 minutes probably. What? That's crazy. Ooh, what a oh, totally great day. So go ahead. You have 17 minutes. Go for it. Go, go Earliest ahead. bread, a okay. digital mask. Zach the Ripper 36, letter D004, Prim Pete, Draco Productions, Dragoon, Jai Kaisen, Ice Ick, Warfe, Black Sabbath 17, Bebop Diaz, Oz195, Xandros, Lord Fanau, Xandros gifting us up as well. Thank you. Gibberish430 gifting us up to Alchemy of Kyrio, Thunder King 8, The Ball Guy, Keyblade Forger 96, Blue Clock. Arter Bori, Alex Andoas, Tepa Dicabo, Skyblaze71325, Bardic Phalanx, Yuki Usagi, Fantastic Callum, Shikamalord, Lost Snail, Z Man Star Dust, Trent Caliber, Maverick the Warlock, Kubia Alpha, Crazy Fox, Sario88, Radebaub, Ninor Niniel, Andrew8523398. That's Andrew eight five two three three nine eight Louis Lu, Louisiana Ew. Jones. Oh, that's Ew. a great name. That's pretty good. That's pretty. Last good. kerfuffle. 
Nightingale 1, Siren Eyes, James Rochelle, Caveman 0803, Oz 195, gifting 10 subs to the community. Thank you so much to Oz 195 for that incredibly kind contribution. Spirit of Love, Frugal Man, Relator, Sailor Midgard, Ed765, Super. Thank you all for the subs. Now do the bits. God, God, and heaven, you guys. There's kindness is overwhelming. We're excited. Thank you for the bits. See from Kazoo. Thank you for the bits. Zeus Moose. Thank you for the 500 bits. Brutus Maximu with five subs. I think I already thanked you, but nonetheless, thank you again. Count of Christo. Thank you for the bits. John49357 with 500 bits. I'd like to think that in the Prince Division, the Unexpectables are either a TV show based on the books or histor historical events. Anyways, what's up, guys? How are you doing? And also, guys and son, I got your Tanuki boys holding up bag full of Tanukis. Fantastic. <laughs> That's bag no bag. Gift. That's no bag. That's a Tanuki. Shush, that's tomorrow, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> what? John. Continue. What? Uh, okay. Uh, Poke Freak, thank you for the bits. Shaggy, thank you for the bits. Kaiser Cultist, 500 bits. Excited to finally sit in for a stream. The last one I watched live to full was The Dog Zone. Jeez. What an episode wow. to start That's actually what, that's, that's what happened before the show for me. <laughs> oh. We had to look for a zone for dogs. Sloth with 4,000 bits. No mm. message, just 4,000 bits. Well, to 51 auth one, aka Sloth. Thank you so freaking much for the 4,000 bits. Blackfoot Ferret. It's time for lead bits from Blackfoot Ferret. 1,337 bits from the Blackfootiest of all ferrets. Bayonetta is like having a dress made of devil triggers. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. That's yeah okay yeah yeah that makes sense from what I understand that's what that's what that that's, that seems what it, it seems to be what it is. Flame Revenant, thank you for the bits. Afro Blade Master, thank you for the bits. Sword Fanatic with the two thousand five hundred bits. You guys keep me going in these rough times. Stay safe and healthy. I also hope the dice roll in your favor. Me too, man. Me too. <laughs> Sword Fanatic, well, I with hope so. I know. Like, uh, uh, my God, your guys' kindness is overwhelming here. Nerdy Notions with a Z, 1,000 bits. Made a good chunk of change making custom Animal Crossing amiibos. So I wanted to spread the wealth. Take my bells. I mean bits. From Nerdy Notions Z. All right. Animal Crossing amiibos. I wonder how much Tom Nook wants for those. Three <laughs> years. The dev team apparently says they have three years of DLC on the way. Wow. Hey, Tom, how many bells can I get for that? Uh huh. <laughs> I don't understand what he said. How, how is that in Nook Miles? <laughs> bitch, fuck I, you! I, I take the bells. I still can't understand what he said. <laughs> Lord Final, thank you for the bits. Ark Requiem, thank you for the bits. Some sort of weird moon speak. Connor, Rad I think you can do that. It, 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 honestly, it, it, it is. It, what, what is interesting is I sometimes wonder what happens if one of Sims talks to an Animal Crossing. Oh shit! The world explodes. You can florpa, slop a do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is good, guys. This is quality oh, entertainment. This for 17 oh, minutes, oh, right, Nadine? Here, oh, here comes Banjo. We're about to whip out our impressions here, so it's become a Warburton off. Someone, We're just close to Warburton off. Someone please help me get me out of here, please. Ashendari 010. No, Nadine, you can't get out of here. As a matter of fact, you made a second oh, show, dude. so you're, you're twice as bad now. I know. Ashendari 010 with 2,401 bits. Hashtag save log. Also, glad to be here again on the best D&D &D night. Thank you so much, Ashendari 010 for the 2,401 bits. And we got to save log. My boy, my boy, boy is a do you, beef. Do you, need, do you need the 11 minutes or are we good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, okay. yeah, there's okay. a lot keep, of bits. Going, going, B52 going, makes a silent night with 1,500 bits. Have a glorious session, all. I go to fight dragons in my dreams. I, I'm wondering if he just jumped out the window when he said that. <laughs> I imagine that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Man. Where'd go? That's, by the way, Nadine, if you ever play a remnant from the ashes... Every single jump through a window is window. You just do a dive, just, and it's every time I just hear the purpleized WTF. The window it is fucking <laughs> <laughs> the animation slower than everything else, so it looks especially hilarious. It's fucking outstanding. 
<laughs> my favorite one is that when you're doing a run and you get over a ledge, you just do that like cart that's that, that sideways cartwheel on your back, and it's just it's so action just, roll. Like it just keep looks reading so bit. Keep ten minutes. Go ten thousand bits from action bastard 42 10 000. been about two months since i caught you live half my first and likely only probate size bit drop enjoy it you magnificent bastards yeah we will let's snap for Thank ashton you. bastard 42 look gordon generosity help me gordon uh, help me gordon Pedals Main with 701 bits. Hey, guys, super excited for this session. It's been a month so far. One of my favorite Patreons from Library Work that was murdered in a hit and run. She was 11. The bright side is the guy turned himself in a week later. Here's some bits. Kick Whoa. some ass tonight. Whoa. Damn, that was Whiplash, Pedals Main. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, wow. Tired Nerd with 1,000 bits. Thank you so much, Tired Nerd 1, for the 1,000 uh, bits <laughs> greatly appreciate that. Marcus Atter with a 550 bits. Gaijin playable no face, mm -hmm. possibly soon. Who knows? Depends on how this one goes. Rikaku the Sacro 1100 bits. Who's part roadrunner, part moose, and is officially caught up on the backlog? This guy, you're part moose, you're so big. Whoa. Moose are huge, dude. No, moose are nine feet. Moose are nine feet tall and sound like big daddies from Bioshock. Yeah. Oh. Well, my dad got angry one time because he got too close to a little sister. I mean, a baby moose. Yeah, right. <laughs> we heard that noise. I went, "Oh no, that's terrifying." Yeah, really scary. <laughs> we got the sacred. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank Dragon Sun for the bits as well. Oh my goodness. Uh, OG Scare, thank you for that 800 bits. Uh, evening all. Also, thanks to the Prince Division on Saturdays. Makes my day at the fire station actually pleasant. OG yeah. Scare. Yeah. Oh, man. You, you, got a, you got a firefighter listening to your show, Nadine. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. It's pretty cool. I'm sure all sorts of people listen. I know, I know. It's just, it's just, it's just you got to imagine, like, he's just, one second, guys. Just got the he got the podcast on. <laughs> Slide down the pole. Hello, this <laughs> is from Mars. I Hello, humans. I am up here. You get me through the darkest times. I'm the dark side of the moon. Print I am from Pete. Mars. Print Pete. Not from Mars, but from Earth with 10,000 bits. Whoa. Oof. I've been dealing with a migraine for three oh. days. Oh. Throws 10,000 bits our way. Well, Ow. Print Pete, thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank our, like, guys, let's snap for Print Pete. Greatly appreciated Print Pete for the 10. Thousand. No, no, no. We're classy. Protoss103, thank you for the bits. Our Fox Blood with a thousand bits. Apparently, there's a five minute VOD on the videos page. Was that some kind of glitch? Do we have a VOD being saved still? Best of luck tonight. Save our boy log. Hashtag Wait, save log. 100, 1,000 okay. bits. Uh, there might have just been a drop. That happens sometimes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, our Fox Blood. Thank you, but Primpeat, again, thank you again incredibly for the 10,000 bits. That is incredibly kind of you. SciTV, thank you for the bits. Red Wolf Gamer, thank you for the bits. Uh, Z on the Cobalt, thank you for the bits as well. Uh, we got some Spirit of Love, Froggle Man, Relator, Sailor Midgard, and, okay, we all got this one. Flightless, 626 with 5,555 bits. Good luck, guys. That's Cryptic Flightless. But thank you for the 5,555 bits from Flightless, 626. Thank you so much. You fly into our hearts. D. Wardy, thank you for the bits. The Turtle Squad with 2,000 bits. Woo, just got off in time to catch the stream. Well, the Turtle Squad. Man, that's shell so shocking. Oh, man. Tur Turtles in a half shell. <sighs> Heroes. Like King Hero Soccer. Oh. Vigil Vigilantard. Oh, they're also like that. 1,108 bits. Big shout out to Monty and. DD, DD, for making me love D and D more than ever and helping me be a better DM and player. Vigilantered with one thousand one hundred eight bits. Okay, how do you feel about the abbreviation being called DD, Distortion Devil? I prefer double hmm? D. I prefer double D oh. too. Double D. Double D. Double D. Double D. Double D. You see, it. I don't think that's going to go a toast. Brett does. Uh, okay. <laughs> Antlers, a uh, link Hylia. Uh, Demonator33, thank you so much. Ed, 765, thank you so much for the bits as well. Scuba Steve, thank you for the 500 bits. No message, just bits. Well, thank you very much, Scuba Steve. One, two, five, eight. Skelly Jack with 1,000 <laughs> bits. Wow, is this, is this really, is this the real Unexpectables? No, Skelly Jack, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Oh, hey. Lake Hi Lake Hi what? I'm being honest. We are the Unexpectables fan podcast. We talk about the latest episode of the Unexpectables fan podcast. I Man, really do you feel like you're the best fucking guy.
Please listen Whoa. to our fan sub. It's better than the original. I feel I feel that they don't check the mail enough. We don't have a mail. What are you talking about? We don't check the mail enough. They don't, I mean. Skelly Jack, thank you for the one, 1,000 bits. It's Link Hylia with 6,000 bits. So with the amount of times panic has been stabbed, electrocuted, has it become more of a deep-rooted fear or a fetish? That's routine. Well, that I routine is don't good. Don't really mind it anymore. Goes. <laughs> Eventually just, turning into wind or abusing electricity. Panic looks at the camera with like a sword in his chest. He's like, hey, what do you do? Then he falls <laughs> over. Brock, it's a living. <laughs> <laughs> it's a living. Pink. Now Lake roll Hylia, your final six thousand bits. Cesaro ninety four with three thousand bits. Glad you guys are all safe. Keep it that way. Anyways, it's been a while since I watched you guys live, and looking forward to it. Well, Cesaro ninety four. Thank you so much for the three thousand <laughs> bits. Greatly appreciated. Lost snail with fifteen hundred bits. First time catching live on the new channel. Well, welcome to Twitch.tv slash The Unexpectables. Ow, oh, Andre, thank you for the sub. H Lone Heart, thank you for the bits. Let's do oh, one the robot the five hundred bits. If you're reading this, that means you're in the land of robots. If you find two groups, one with a red emblem and the other with a purple one, run for your lives. This has been a warning about Transformers. Da -na 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 -na. DCA nine thousand. Chocolate Zombie 101, Zodiac Pug, Wells 234, Achilles Nipple, Neo Monkey Man, Joker 18 Jr., Noxious Virus 117, Craig B. 1992, Nimora Kono, Athgar 45, Shiny Lamp 2 Cents, Change Impact Frame, Welsh 93, Junior Moloch, thank you all for the subs, and the Turtle Squad, gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so freaking much. We're almost done here. Don't worry. We're going to get through this here. Last, we're in the, we're in the home stretch. Von Creed with 3,000 bits. Betty Boy with a 500 bits. for the last in these trying times. And hashtag save log. Uh, the Turtle Squad with 1,000 bits. Hashtag save log. <laughs> oh, my God. So I think with 1,000 bits. John with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Link Hylia with 2,500 bits. Take them all. Ah, ah, ah. Link Hylia, thank you so much. Elena Megalodon with a 500 bits. Fucking, if we're doing purple eyes quotes, tell the girl with the green hair in my room to not touch my stuff. <laughs> 500 bits he let it make a lid on thank you big art 61991 my other favorite is shut up I'm talking to Iron Man <laughs> <laughs> so McTavish he let it make a lid on with 500 bits he's getting an action shot this is the best action shot ever <laughs> he let it make a lid on with the 500 bits fuck it okay never mind I already read that one thank you nonetheless big art 611 six, big art 61991 with the 500 bits I can't wait ah! well you're gonna have to for a couple more minutes blogman Kate Snake thank you so much for the bits as well uh, Chris Sarasaurus, uh, Chris Sarasaurus, Chris Sarasaurus, thank you. Sarasaurus. Chris Sarasaurus, no, Chris Sarasaucy. Adachi 330 with 400 bits, thank you so much. The free man with the bits, thank you. Adachi 330 with more bits, thank you. And 765 Super with a thousand bits. My sister just had the epiphany that Grickles is a rogue. She thought he was a ranger that liked being sneaky and using knives. I mean, oh, okay, yeah. I guess I'll die. Uh, <laughs> bye, Task. Mm. What? You're not playing Panic. And 765 Goodbye. Super. Uh, Samurai <laughs> Lizard 333 with a thousand bits. Guys, please save Log. I don't think Borky could handle it if anything happened to him. I mean, look what happened to Asmo since T Week left. No one knows what it's like to be the sad man. I feel so guilty when people are like, you're gone. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I have. I hey, you, you had a good life. It was, it's, hey, it's fine. It's, it's, a, it's like a now story. It happened. Make that, you need to Listen. make a shit post now. You need to make the shit post. Train the world. My final message. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. so we're going we're, we're to chop, chop up audio like that last Chef episode. Don't worry, Nadine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Hello there, guys. Lord Cinder's exit with the 500 pits. I uh, got sick the moment I, uh, I got up. Looks like I'm listening to you guys. Oh, no, feel better. Uh, oh. Dragon Sun, thank you so much for the bits. The Cannon Fodder, Ryle Grimrick, Doom Knight 1013. Thank you so much. And, guys, that is it from All right, we're good. me. Good to start. I hope so. Let's do it. You guys ready to go? All right, let's do this. Yeah, right, guys, we love you. All right, bye, chat. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Let me just take a... I have... One second. Quick, finish your food, right. Nadine. No, I'm just taking a drink of water because I had some grossness in my throat. All right. When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Borky the Orc Barbarian, and Greckles the Kenku Rogue, the party continued on their way up the Mountain of Repetition. After satisfying the needs of the Blood Axe Orc Tribe, the party was permitted to continue up the side of the mountain to its mysterious heights. After meeting with the Crimson Crone in her hanging perilous house, the party received a few fortunes from the delightful hag. Beware the beasts that do not bleed. 
After making rest on the mountain cliffs, the party delved into the depths of the darkened cave, smelling of blood and death. Their beasts of burden stayed behind in the care of Remy. After wading through waist-deep bloody water, halls of bone dust, and corridors of corpses, the party became victim to a murderous construct predator. The creature, an amalgamation of metal and wire, struck fast and fiercely, ambushing the party at any opportunity. But the party, utilizing their spells and weapons, cast the beast back from which it came and eventually truly struck it down. After working through mechanical puzzles, goop, and sequence pressure plates, the party eventually made their way out of the abandoned work lab. As the party moves through the darkness, eventually they stumbled upon a magic dead zone, and amongst the pile of dormant constructs, the party found the lifeless body of Log. Now, as the party awakens from a well-deserved rest, the darkened boom of the mountain beckons them awake. So. So really quick, did we take a long or short rest? Long rest, I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah, buddy, going right up to max. Ah, uh, that feels good. Thank God I actually, I actually didn't fucking reset all my spell slots, too. Good, good. That was a hard fight last time. Monty got so upset we couldn't fight the goop. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, no. uh, you remember the goop, guys? That was crazy. Oh, man, that's the goop. Wait, what am I doing? Pretty angry. It looked pretty angry. Uh, Tess, what are you doing? I don't know. You put the gun down, Task. Me. Task, put the gun down. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to run away, Task. <laughs> As you guys awaken from your sleep, you guys are all awoken to that sound of the <sighs> the large earthquaking boom every hour. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, I slipped well, out of me know. neck. Is, oh, it, is it like... Is it like earth shattering inside of this cave how deep we are it's it's loud it's not like it hurts your ears but it's it shakes the ground a little bit yeah B by the way uh for flavor barky was sleeping with log as a um as a stuffed animal essentially fair enough okay would i mean there... come I mean... good um would there be anything of value to salvage from this pile ah roll an investigation check i'm good at that I'm real good at that. Twenty really good. I mean, there's a lot of like metal scrap and like wires. Um, a lot of the things in this pile have either rusted away, or someone's chewing. Kurt, are you chewing something? Damn, I thought it was far enough away. No, I can hear you. Stop <laughs> <doing it. laughs> like I'm, um, I'm, looking, I'm, I'm looking for like possible components for Iggy to to tinker with the stuff that we already have. Well, listen, guys, and I too wish to have another armored core character, but I don't believe <laughs> doing this log is the best solution right now. Hey guys, um, I, speaking, speaking of which, I found the whole the whole play set. Anyone have a thousand dollars? Anyway, <laughs> okay. um, as you pick through, I mean, there's little bits of silver and gold, but they're not. It's not enough to be of any value. A lot of the stuff here has been here for a while, like a long while. And this okay. pile is significant and clearly a lot of stuff here doesn't work. Okay. I just wasn't sure if there were any like plates, components, wiring that could make some make for some cool stuff for Iggy, even even if it was just to make him happy. So to be honest with you, it's a mosh podge of kind of just garbage at this point. Okay, um, that's fair. And anything that he could look at is probably too complicated for him. Looking at a lot of these things, it's very, like, really well constructed gotcha. to the point where it actually kind of freaks you out a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Put that one down. It's voice modulated later is broken. Uh. <laughs> All right. Oh, good morning, boys. Is it time to get Oki? Is it time to get Borky? Borky says with bruises on his face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday was uh, it was quite shocking. I think it might just be. He says, still twitching. <sighs> you're actually you feel fine now. You you're just oh, sore. I, never mind. I feel fine now. Just a little sore. Oh, it's crazy. I'm feeling I'm not wholly unfamiliar ago. with. Uh, as the party tank. Right, or... that's true. Just because Zeus, of Zeus's face, like yep. semi-transparent, just shows up and just... then disappears. <laughs> and now. <laughs> all right gentlemen let's get a move on all right, let's go up this mountain and hopefully if we get out of this anti-magic zone log will hopefully just wake up he will oh you have to you gotta believe task you gotta believe all right you guys proceed forward what's our marching order 
Same Queen as last time in the middle. Okay. So it's it's literally um task. Greckles, panic, and then Borky. Yeah, yeah. Pan panic's actually twenty feet off to the side uh, by himself. <laughs> uh, he's seasoned. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's got. We got a really. We got a really good brisket rub on him. <laughs> Oh, Steel Predator, come get me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a Steel Predator, it was a prototype Predator. But, uh, alright, Task, you are going to be leading the march here um, as you guys proceed forward. Uh, notably, the pathway is, like, cluttered for sure. It's, like, kind of like a dump for a bit. Um, eventually, the... I'm going to say, for all lack of a better term, the remains of these constructs eventually peter out and you're back walking on stone again. Uh, and you kind of begin to hear noises task up ahead if you want to oh, roll a perception check for me. I sure do as I stop everyone else. Uh, by the way, just real quick, just for my own sake, uh, the flooring that we step on, it returns to natural stone or more of the, like, uh, it's a hallway, uh, like this was architect? This has clearly been dug out. Okay, okay. Yeah. We're, we're, so we're still in, like, a temple-ish area. Uh, 23. 23. Um, as you're walking forward, uh, you see, you look up to the ceiling, and you see a bunch of beady eyes looking down at you. Oh. As... I, I just point everyone up in that direction and just fucking freeze. Roll a knowledge nature for me. Oh. oh, I'm sorry if you hear motorcycle sounds outside. Someone apparently feels like that's a lot of eyes. Seven. Yeah, you don't know what these are. You just see these eyes in the dark. Ready, my arrow. Okay. Can we sneak past? Sure. Borky would like to do a nature check because he could. He could. He um wants to. These are far way off, so unfortunately, you, you can't see with your dark vision. I will just mention to everyone else, eyes on the ceiling watching us. I can't tell what it is. Get on the floor mm. and get on the floor and try to sneak by. But how do we do this? It's just a big room. Borky, just get down on all fours. It's fine. Uh, well, well, okay. I'll try to contact Ith just constantly until we get out of the magic Field. That's a 13. Wow. That is the lowest stealth I've rolled in a long time. That's a four. How am I going to get on all fours with, with log in me arms? Let me try. Let me try here. Hold him in your mouth like a dog then. Seven. <laughs> nice. He God. does it. Holy shit. Here I go. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. Uh, you guys stumble <laughs> uh, forward, um, eventually making your way under these eyes. They are bats. There are hundreds of bats that are all kind of like tilting their heads. It's They're completely stark black. Uh, the only thing you can see are their beady little yellow eyes. Um, okay. They're huge, by the way. Uh, as you guys kind of move over, a couple of them hiss at you. Uh, you can tell that given the time of year, uh, they actually have young kind of clinging to them. Uh. As you guys make your way underneath them. Uh, by the way, underneath them, it is just poop. It is uh, yes. a bunch yeah. of bat guano. Ooh. Mm. This might be valuable in some circles. Who wants poo? Panic. Wizards. Willow sneezes at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shitty thing to yeah, say. The finest bat guano for wizardly reasons. No, I'm pretty Just sure. Rub that... it on your spell book to make it more magical. Just get it in um, there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that bat poop actually is a spell component. It, it, it is, is actually yeah. for one. Yeah. For what? For what spell? Knowledge Arcana. I don't fucking know. It's not Knowledge Arcana. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe twelve. With my fish stick Arcanum, I can figure it out. Uh, oh, oh, uh, nineteen. Fireball. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> oh, it's the it's the one of the greatest spells of all time. Fireball. Why uh. does bat poop make fireballs? <laughs> I thought, he just I thought, shrugs really I thought, hard. I thought the best spell was prodigitation. Well, Taz, that's like, the, that... looks at, Taz looks over to panic and just like with a grimace on his face, he's just like, "So you're saying I should?" Holds up a bottle. <laughs> I mean, we could sell it, I guess. Oh, with a lot of reservation in, in Taz's face, he's gonna roll a survival check to collect it. Uh, okay. He's got that smashed-in face. 
Oh no. That one favors <laughs> right into it. it. One farts in my face instantly. Good. Oh no. He fell, he fell in the mouth first. As you're collecting it, you hear some shuffling uh, on top, like uh, above you, and then you just feel something drip down the side of your snout, and you're like, oh, as you look up and you see one of the bats just kind of like waving its bottom end and then flipping back up onto the ceiling. Mm. And I don't want to do this. Let's leave. <laughs> okay, I'll just, okay. I'll just, okay. I'll just okay. pat task on the head and I'll press the digitation to snout off. Yeah. There you go. Know. All right. Thank you. What? Yep. Yep. Sure thing. Let's <laughs> leave. Let's get, See, let's pro digitation is the best spell. You guys I mean, we make... only know Willow's the only wizard that we care about, and I'm sure she can find some poop somewhere. Ozzy cries. <laughs> 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 the only wizard. Wait, wait he Kay. cries? Why? Did Panic break up with him again? Well, he cut me off. He chose this life. <laughs> Man, Kay, Kay is at her desk feeling, why do I feel sad all of a sudden? Get back to her. <laughs> anyway, you guys make your way up to the mountain wizard. Uh, for another hour or two, uh, which you guys can tell based off of the booming that echoes through the mountain. Um, eventually, your guys' magical items all begin to return to you. Oh! Oh, I felt oh. it. Oh. The weave. Or f of something. Some sort what? of weave. Uh, a weave? I don't know. I just heard the term at some point. Tass mm. snaps his fingers and points at Log. Anything? Or he just shakes him. Log is not moving. Oh! No! no. Uh -oh. It's Captain uh, Real! Wake up, I will Log. go ahead and start slapping I'll, the robot. I'll go ahead and detect magic. Uh, I'll, I'll just spend this spell slot. Uh, there is a tiny little bit of magic coming out of Log, but it is very minuscule. I think he's alive, but... Can I say roll an Arcana check for me? Okay. Here we go. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Eight. The, the nature of Artemis's constructs are so beyond your understanding like it's beyond even willow's understanding uh they are complex things you're not even sure how what is happening at all so mm. he just smacks him on the chest shit all right well let's not lose hope if these silver kobolds do exist maybe they can actually revive him maybe i'm assuming that he's still alive i just don't know what to do to make him more alive. Well, let's reach civilization oh first before we decide oh, to go any the, further with this. Okay, okay yeah, sure. Togs here. Come on, Log, come back to us. Come on, shaking him like he's like a toy. Yeah, you rattle. Come on, Log. Log, look, uh, there's, a bu there's a bunch of people who want to learn about Oriara. Oh, God, he's really not waking up to that one. One of the bats fly into his eye socket. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, he's, he's attacked. He's actually not damaged at all, which is kind of surprising. But he is unmoving, so... Well, let's just keep uh, it on the down lows we keep going. <clears throat> yeah, let's just keep moving then. Mm. I'll go ahead and I'll use I'll use my, my sending orb as soon as we get out of there to okay. send to Helena again. I'll just be like, hey, just checking in. Uh, went through anti-magic field. And then that's one word because there's a hyphen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... Don't know what time it is, but we're okay. Had a snag, but fine now. How are you? Uh, you get a response pretty quickly back. It's 10 a.m. Shit. <laughs> Been busy. Most of the city has been rebuilt. Wow. <laughs> Fast. Dwarves, man. Well, yeah, I'm I'm not surprised. I'll, I'll I'll just be I'll be relaying bits and pieces of this. More ballista, many huh. dead silver dragons. Oh. Ooh. Any we care about. <laughs> but ha but how you, Helena? God. <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll she'll send me back or something. I don't know. Yeah, you get, you get a message. Said... You get a message back, assuming she casts the spell. Okay. <laughs> okay. Five dead silver dragons. 
yours. Arlo, Zotira are okay. Arlo was injured. But okay now. I am good. Busy, tired. Good. The kid needs to be humble sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cut out after Arlo was injured. Uh, Arlo is injured, but we'll be okay. Um, I, I'm busy, tired, is what she said, essentially. I'll, I'll just reply back. Okay. Go back to sleep. Guess, guess I'll let you sleep. It's 10 a.m. Oh. Not 10 p.m. It's oh, 10 a.m. Yeah. 10 a. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um... But Bonnie, is it is okay. wake up supposed to be two o'clock in the afternoon? Goblin, no. Oh. <laughs> Goblin there was no response. Oh. I'm just like, oh, uh, what happened? <laughs> We've made progress. Hopefully, we will be back soon. Not sure how long, but we're the unexpectables. We'll get it done. Miss you. Oh. They still want to ask head on a pike. <laughs> you keep making your way up the, the tunnel for another hour. Right on. You can tell, again, because of the booming of the mountain. Uh, eventually, Task, you see something kind of glimmering up ahead, if you want to roll a perception check for me. I sure do! Okay. 15. 15! You see light filtering in through a large iron door up ahead that blocks the tunnel. Well, we got an exit. Might lead out to the surface. It's better uh, to be trapped in here. All right, oh, I, I'm, I'm gonna ask Bork, I'm gonna uh, ask Borky to come up to the front with me to see if we just open this thing and get ready in case something comes out. Okay, Greckles, this is important. Uh huh. You are more fortified than I am, <laughs> so I'm gonna need yeah. you to continue sandwiching between me and Tass. Whatever makes you feel better, buddy. Uh, uh, whatever makes me not dead better. <laughs> so I, I want to roll a, uh, a a a athletics check with uh, Borky. Okay. How about, uh, we can, start, how about we start with just a general observation? Just so I was about to say, can I roll oh, sure, investigation? Sure, 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 sure. Sorry about okay. that. Checking for traps and the like. No, that's fine. With the twenty-four. <laughs> very nice. Uh, this door is very solid. Um, there is like a notable crack between each. There's a double door, so there's a crack between the two doors. Um, and there is a sunlight glow coming out. There is a thickly taut chain that kind of runs through two holes where doorknobs should be. Um, and it is like tight. It is clearly latched from the outside and you guys are on the inside. So you kind of just see the loop of the chain that holds these doors together. Wow. Well, that's going to be a problem. Okay, well, we could either finesse this lock open, or we could just bash the door down. There is, is it no lock. Yeah, there's no lock. It's just a chain. chain. If there is a lock, you would assume it would be on the other side of the door. Okay. Uh, I've got an idea, but I don't know how long it'd take. I could try to eat through it with the old sads. Mm. I was about to, oh. like, Tash just, like, fucking like, ears <laughs> drop. Like, what? I was oh. about to say. <laughs> l l l l listen, my bird teeth ain't that strong. No, uh, that might take a little bit of time, though. Plus, it's not very finesse. Well, I mean, uh, how much time do we have? Like, Dark said we had a couple months, or like a month? A month. We, we have a month. We're losing. We're we're at a week and a half at this point. Dude, I really think. Want Money, we've got time. Money, can I check around uh, to the sides where the chains are to see if there are any mechanisms? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to say that would be an investigation check again. Right. I'm good at that. Not good enough. That's a that one. Whoa. There's literally nothing to look at. It is just the chain looping through holes. The this uh, side of the door is literally just flat, and then like the little loop of the chain, and that's it. And then it is it's like set into the stone. You can't even there, see if there's any hinges. Is there like Bork? Is there any symbols on this? I don't, I don't forget. Forgive me if you've already said so. Is it just plain? Uh, it's just plain. It's just a solid mm. like iron door. 
Yeah, I mean, there's one thing I could do. I could. Oh, I don't want to risk damaging Romfall. But, like, um, I, I could place it in and then, like, kind of just, like, squeeze it in, until, like, it pops. Yeah? Well, Borky, first of all, Romfold is a magical item. It's very difficult to break those. I could find but, a way. Well, Penny. He slapped him on the shoulder. I don't doubt that you could, buddy. Mm. Um, Bob, Borky, Borky, as you stand there, you hear a don't coming from your store. <laughs> <laughs> that twice, actually twice a jest to myself. That, that actually reminds me, Panic, do you sense anything coming from this, or is this just a straight chain? I was about to ask. Well, your detect magic I, ran out a while ago. Ah, oh, being, been uh, well, if, if since we have time, I guess I'll, I'll ritual cast the... Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Ooh. you ritual cast it. Uh, you detect nothing in terms of, like, um, the door, but you can... Um, you can you can pick up on your magical items and you can pick up on log as well. Hmm. But the door itself well, is completely avoid. There's no magic at all. And how thick is it? Ah, uh, it's pretty thick. Like looking at it and kind of like um, noting the crack. This is a very thick door. Like almost like a blast door. Like a blast door. Like I would say probably like half a foot thick. It's so thick. Well, how about the, well, how about this? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I can. I can see through it with my detect magic as well. Oh yeah, because so it's just a foot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you do detect two uh, magical sources on either side. On the uh, what you assume is outside of the door. Okay. Um, one I'm is two. One is shorter to the ground. The other one is kind of like maybe like I'm gonna say four feet off the ground. Maybe. So What's different, cool? Different heights. Um, weirdly enough, you can't place it. Oh, that's, that's par for the course uh, for this uh, well, adventure. I, it's going to sound stupid, guys, but what? Borky just kind of goes up to the door and just takes the, the pommel of Ronfalt and just goes, knock, knock, knock. Okay. You knock on the door? Yeah. Okay. As you knock on the door, I would like to invite our guest star. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo, oh, my God. God. Oh Shenpai, my God. if you would like to join us. Hello. Yes. <laughs> How's Hello. it going? <laughs> uh, so, as you're standing guard outside of the door, you Come begin on. to hear a knock on the other side of the giant iron door. He Hello? Oh. Do we, hear do we all hear this? You do. It's muffled, but you do hear it. Oh, he Hello? Hello, you speak common. Uh, who, who, who is this? Uh, we are, oh, um, fuck, I don't know if they, uh, we're the Unexpectables. We are, um, we are traveling up the mountain. We, um, uh, we would like to request passage, if that is all right. Uh, at this point, uh, Project 6, I believe their name was. Project eight. Project eight. Was it Project eight? Project eight. It was Project Six. There were Project. Oh, Project Six. Right. Okay. Sorry. Project Six I know, walked I up to you. <laughs> Project Six walks up to you and goes, "We should not open this." Porky knocks on the door. Please open this. <laughs> but, but their name is Unexpectables. That's that is pretty unexpectable, I think. What if they right. had wears? Oh, hey, your accent sounds like mine. Are you Chicadian? What? What? N no, I don't know what accent I have. I just was built like this. Oh. I'll open the door. You watch as you guys hear on the other side as the door unlocks and the door, these huge iron doors open. And if you would like, Shampai, do you want to describe your character for them? Yeah. My character is a uh, about three foot high humanoid uh, robot like figure with ah, damn it. with glowing <laughs> eyes and even his mouth when it opens there it seems to be flames running this this creature this machine that is very very sentient um and his eyes are pretty big, so he all constantly looks like he's very interested in everything. Um, but he's also very, very small, so he doesn't really look all that intimidating. 
And yeah, he's rustic is- colors. Uh, there's uh, cogs turning on his side of his head. Uh, of, of his head, sorry. <laughs> Uh, and he seems a little scared. Uh, standing next to uh, you is uh, a human-sized construct about panic's height. Um, smooth facial features, <clears throat> almost like a porcelain doll. Um, human and male in nature. Um, and the body is pretty rugged and, and well-designed with kind of long, sleek metal pieces uh, that suggests kind of a human anatomy. Uh, both of you are holding spears. <laughs> Um, and in the moment the door opens, uh, Project Six points his spear towards uh, the rest of the party as you guys are in the doorway of this giant iron rot door. Whoa, okay, all right. Uh, he, he holds his hands up. Uh, my name is Panic. Uh, uh, I assume you live here? Uh, what did you say? Panic? Uh, yeah, You're and not... this is this is my friend Borky. Behind me are uh, Task, that's the red one, and, and Greckles, he's the bird. Hey. There is an orc amongst them. Object. No, no, he's 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 super cool, super domestic, like and he's I'm green a, too, if that's I'm any a, consolation. I'm a green orc, it's very different. Yeah, I'll, last, I'll like slap him on the chest here. The last time I ran into an orc, he tried to smash me into tiny pieces. That sounds, sounds like about an right. Orc. Yeah. Yeah. They have or nothing a, yeah. like that. Yeah, but Borky, super cool. He's like a really great guy. Doesn't doesn't smash unless he really has to. He's mm-hmm. he's got dreams of like running a cheese factory, I and that's prove, that's great. The point being, Tass steps forward. I have been tasked by someone else down below in the base, a white-scaled kobold, to scale the mountain. Will you let me pass or not? Uh, Project 6 kind of looks towards you, uh, Object 8, and kind of looks back and goes, They're not supposed to be red. Why is this one red? I I don't know. You can't just I... ask why he's red. I'm going to be honest. I just came here to uh, to uh, act like a guard. I don't know much. I just want oh. to go back to creating. <laughs> Perhaps we should go get Gaz- Gadget and Gizmo. They would probably know what to do with these outsiders. Is that safe? Is that a good idea? You know what happened last time. Mm, probably not. Uh, <laughs> um, if I might... Uh, ask what what did happen last time? Project Six just looks at you, Abby. Mm. Maybe we could tell you another time. Give us a good reason to trust you first. Greco's okay. immediately points over to Borky, who is cradling Log tenderly. Help as, him. As, Borky as, holds as, him out. I swear Help we found him, him like that. We as found look, him like that. As you look, uh, as you look, Object Eight, you see in their hands is a construct, just like you almost. Mm-hmm. Um, the design is strange, though. It's very foreign to you. Okay, it's, it's not. not oh, okay. It's not as refined as you've seen. It's like crude. There's like weird proportions to it. Um, it's also wearing clothes, which is not too foreign to you, but it's very strange to see it wearing the amount of clothes that it's wearing. Uh, very clearly it's dormant. It appears to have been shut off. Um, and notably, I'm just to say for the sake of Shempai, does everyone else want to describe their characters real fast? Just so we, we establish what everybody looks like. Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, Panic is a, uh, sort of about as tall as you are. He is a... Uh, sort of reddish gray skinned tiefling with horns that wrap around his head. He's got long platinum blonde hair that runs down to about underneath his shoulder blades. He's got a coat that looks like it is made of black dragon skin, a yellow silky undershirt underneath, um, really tight leather black pants, and uh, boots that also have a couple of dragon scales attached to them. He has a, uh, notably he has a, 
a guitar that looks like it is made of obsidian and porcelain with gold inlays. Greckles? Uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, Greckles, he stands just a little bit above you, close to five feet, um, has feathers that kind of bleed into a dark blue or a black, depending on how the sunlight hits it. Um, hanging around his neck and on his back is a is a very large wide brim hat with slits uh, cut down the front. Uh, you'll see a plumage of feathers that is kind of held back uh, behind his head. Um, wearing a, a sort of uh, plated leather, not metal plate, but like if, if leather was stitched and plated together. Um, large, puffy, uh, dark blue pants, uh, kind of parachute pantish. And uh, but most notably, his cowl uh, has gold trimming, uh, a, a little bit darker blue compared to the uh, to the rest of his uh, feathers. Um, but underneath, there is a weave of uh, kind of a straw that kind of uh, runs as an underlay. Okay, Borky, do you want to describe yourself? Uh, Borky is about a six foot eight. Uh, he. Um... Built like a barbarian, wider, uh, wide like an orc usually would be, got them wide shoulders. Uh, one thing that's interesting about Borky is that he has a giant blue sword that looks like it is magical in nature. And Borky is holding it incredibly closely. And as well, Borky uh, has a shoulder cape because he likes to live dangerously. Okay. And Task. Uh, three foot tall red scale kobold uh, has a metal helmet that has a small slit visor kind of like used as a depth perception sort of thing uh, he's got a dark brown tabard uh, his scales are like bright bright red so it's like a massive contrast uh, a couple of uh, metal platings along his shoulders where uh, for one arm where he uses to fire from his bow uh, and the bow he is carrying actually is a is covered in ice in some locations, giving off a magical aura. Also, I, I've been told I've I've misheard you. Apparently, uh, Panic is six foot tall, six foot four. Yeah, yeah. Not three feet tall. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Tass stands yeah, about yeah. the same height as you. Yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, I I had heard a comparison to to Panic size from one of the constructs. I think it might have been construct six or something no uh, object uh, object eight is uh three foot tall he's very small yeah. right Pro not your project, size about double that <laughs> project project six is your size they're humanoid and, and very okay, I, nice looking yeah, yeah someone messaged me on discord um sure. project six kind of turns back to you abby and goes well they've made themselves known so they're not skulking about like the last time but what do you think that Oriana would, uh, Oriana, oh, fuck, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Oriana would be angry. Perhaps we should consult Oriara. Hmm, do you think oh, she would hear us? This guy really loves Oriara, Borky holds oh. up and talks wait, 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 he really, really does love Oriara. Wait. Is she, uh, here? Yeah. Uh, as they talk to you and, and the sounds of the world around you kind of go a bit dim, uh, object eight, you begin to hear a very familiar voice to you, speak to you. Object eight. <gasps> Your boltiness, hello? The one that they hold is very important. Please assist them, but do keep it... your guard. I will do so as you tell me. Thank you yeah. so much. They are friend to that acolyte and friend to a piece of me. Okay, I will not disappoint you, I promise. Thank you. Uh, you guys watch as, as Object 8 is just looking at the sky and just talking to nothing. Uh, that feels about right. We were told that Oriara is up on the top of this mountain. Oh, she's here. That's crazy. So you climbed the mountain of reputation all the way here just for Oriara? It's a little bit... It's more complicated than that, but... There's a lot of questions that I need answers for. Well, I can give you some of my knowledge. Uh, I am unfortunately just a little tink, tink. I, I tincture a lot, and uh, I, I don't really know much. But maybe more people here, or well, constructs like me, can help you. Do people of my kind exist here? Except they're colored silver. 
I don't yep. know. Yep. Yes. Yep. There yes. are. Yeah, that's who, that's that's who made you. That's who is. Right. That's who made you. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit still a little bit <laughs> trying don't to get worry. used to it. Oh. <laughs> it was for nothing, Zito. Get the fuck off this mountain. <laughs> no, they don't this exist. Is, Go away. This is task. If he doesn't get to do it, he's gonna be really mad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You yeah, would know. Sorry. You would know Object Eight that a majority of people here are are kobolds, yes. and then yep. probably one half of that population, um, like actually one third, would probably be constructs. Yes, yeah. I was unsure about the silver part, which was like a little bit confusing. They're not silver. <laughs> that's the part that's kind of weird. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, and the other thing that's kind of weird is that uh, task is red and that obviously that's weird enough but he has these long ears mm. none of the kobolds you know have these big ears they have like little ears but they mostly have like horns mm -hmm. yeah yep object eight let us take them prisoner oh we don't have to do that. that you know what you know what as long as it makes everything go more smoothly here fine he hands over he hands over catharsis I do not need this. Well, this is my weapon. What? Yeah, I cast spells. I can make things explode with my mind. Ooh. Well, All right, let's if, you're, up. if you're so willingly Sorry. to give us your weapons, I don't think you will cause any problems. As, as long as you stay friendly, we won't, we won't do anything either. Just, just Absolutely. follow us. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll do so. he, he, he turns to the others and he, and he gives like a really big, like cartoony wink. Like, yeah, I got him. <laughs> Greckles just has a half cocked eyebrow. Just like, oh God. Object eight, lead the way. You watch as uh, the big construct kind of sweeps around and kind of jabs, uh, assuming Borky is at the end, jabs Borky yeah. in the butt a little bit with the spear. Not mean, but just like, you know, move. Hey, come on. I'm being, I'm not going limp at all either. Come on. Uh, the immediate thing that hits all of you, uh, with the exception of Object 8, because you're used to this, is the smell of the outside. The air is fresh, and is probably the cleanest air you've, you've tasted and smelled for a really long time. It is a bit thin, given your guys' you know, high uh, elevation, but there's no struggle to breathe. It's also warm up here, like pleasantly warm. And notably, as you guys are walking... Uh, you see that almost like in a wave sort of pattern, the ground is flat, but then sweeps around like a crater almost. And there's this kind of peak. And you see a long, very like huge ornate piece of metal that runs into the mountain. And you notice that it is swinging very slowly. Uh, as you guys make your way, you begin to see glimmering shine of silver, parts of the mountain that are just shining. What you thought was silver are actually buildings, um, large metal buildings, uh, would be akin to something like a hangar that are stacked on top of each other uh, in varying degrees of copper, bronze, uh, like, well, you assume silver, steel, iron, um, and there's different tunnels within the mountain as well that seem to have these sort of iron openings as well. And you see little figures kind of moving in and out as you guys make your way forward over the kind of rough hewn snow you guys are working across. Uh, you notice that there is just piles of scrap metal, um, broken tools, um, and various other you know, bricks, things that have just been kind of abandoned towards this door as you guys are led forward through uh, this area. Um, object eight. Yes. Uh, it. On our travel up here, on the hour every hour, we hear a loud booming sound. It, it, is that coming from that? Pointing over to the pendulum. Yes, it is the giant pendulum. As you can see, it it it's like our clock. We know what time it is thanks to it. That's actually fascinating. I mean, it, we must live... be, it must be weird to have that rattling feeling, but it's quite pretty normal. Above game really quick, there's no such semblance of, like, mechanical clocks, is there? Mechanical like, clocks? Like, in what regard? In in common use. In what regard? Like, around you? In, or? Li in like, in like Alabaster. In, in like have. Alabaster. Oh, no. the, yeah. the most you see are things like pocket watches, but those are for, like, the wealthy. Yeah. Um, Whoa. 
Yeah, like keeping time is very difficult. A luxury. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There are people who have a really good sense for it, but overall it's clocks and such like they're not a they're not a completely foreign concept, but they're just like very exclusive. Mm. Uh because there are so few people you know who can make them properly. <laughs> You schlubs get sundials and nothing more. <laughs> but we, but we, we do know we do know that the technology exists, though. Oh yeah, absolutely, you do. But uh, just not on this scale, supposedly. Yeah. Not not an entire building-sized fucking pendulum that's a clock. Uh, as you guys move, you guys kind of make your way into what would be considered the overhang of the mountain, uh, where this pendulum is kind of set. There is a lot of people here. You probably count at least a hundred kobolds on the outside, not even like considering the inside. And everyone is like a assembly line. Like people are running around, and notably, all the kobolds are white, uh, with some deviation to gray. Um, they do not have the big ears that you have. They have these little, little kind of little ears, like almost like pointed orcish ears, uh, and they have like pointed horns, kind of from the back of the skull that kind of run back. Notably. A lot of them have prosthetics, um, whether that be oh. arms, legs, tails, um, and notably as they hit, like the light hits these kobolds, they shine like silver as they make their way around and immediately kind of stop and look as these two constructs are escorting all of these weirdos, for lack uh, of a better term, through I, I, their town. Object 8, uh, I noticed that Parts of these kobolds' bodies are made of metal. What did this to them? Well, a lot of the kobolds here worship the great Oriara, your baltiness, and most of it is just to become closer to the clockwork and to become part of her her highness. You you see, as you see, we are just so in love. And I see it every time, even if there is nothing wrong, they turn themselves into clockworks themselves from time to time. Task is visibly fucking, like, weirded out by that. This is some Borg shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pa Panic's head sort of sinks into his shoulder. It's just like, mm, that's weird. Beep. Uh, you watch now as you see a kobold. Beep. Do you recognize Object 8 running towards you, a male and a female kobold? Uh, the female has, uh, as you look at her as she's running towards you, her right arm, uh, so her right arm, uh, is completely metal that runs up to the shoulder, um, and kind of comes across the chest slightly, almost like armor in the front. She's got a set of goggles, like, crazy goggles, like, like, with 50 different lenses kind of resting up on her oh, nice. Uh, kind of loose apron, pants, uh, and she comes running up with her, her brother, who, um, for lack of a better word, is wearing goggles uh, fixated to the head with, like, red lenses with almost, like, a sniper kind of design on it. Oh. Um, Are they on his eyes or above his eyes? Like, on his eyes. Mm -hmm. um, he's also wearing an apron but has a big, thick tool belt around with, like, like so many different weird tools. Uh, and his tail is actually missing. It's kind of just, like, a round stump behind him as Yo, they Taka, both run up. It, it's fucking Cobalt Jordy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh no, that means he has a girlfriend in the hollow deck. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, Gadget runs up to you, uh, Object 8, the female kobold, and goes, Object 8, what is happening right now? Well, I was going to introduce you like normal people would. Um, these are the, what was it? The... Unexpectables. Sorry, the unexpectables. They want to fig find out. And what did you want to do here again? Do you know a kobold named Winter? They look at Not each other. They kind of just tilt their heads and look at you, and then they look back to Object and go, "You know what happened the last time we let outsiders on this mountain?" Uh, I, I know, I know. But listen, Oriara spoke with me directly and told me to help them. Uh, roll a uh, persuasion check for me, object eight. One second. Where is that? There it That's... is. Ooh. So you need to, you're going to need to call out when you roll. It's always going to be the last oh. one. You always want to say the number just for, for our podcast so they know what you rolled. Oh, I was uh, sorry. Okay. The last no, one. you're good. You're yeah. good. How no dare you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh How my dare God. you be new with this? I'm so sorry. <laughs> call out the number. <laughs> 14. All right. 
Uh, you watch as Gadget just kind of sighs, and Gizmo walks over and kind of taps her on the shoulder and goes, I believe them. Um... Yes! <laughs> yes! My eyebrows just went up so high that hurt my head. <laughs> oh my god, is this you watch as Monty, he's... Monty is, is, is this... this those two guys in the truck? I know, up, right? I want, I want I want to be with you guys. Uh, you watch as this kobold gets onto all fours and actually like crawls under a lot of your guys' legs, except for you, Tass, you're too small, but he crawls like between your legs, uh, panic, and kind of over top of uh Greckles, almost lizard like, eventually kind of striding Ugh. up in front of you, Borky, and goes interesting interesting how fascinating he kind of scoops up log do you give him log yeah okay okay he's really precious he loves oriara a lot I, I, he's not working can you make him work you watch as he takes off logs like hood and hat and kind of like disrobes him uh for lack of a better word oh, and oh that's weird to you. it's really weird to see log without clothes um, oh this is so odd <laughs> he's got a lot of a lot of ex exposed pieces actually which is oh i bet he strange. does um, oh, shut up. Like, I mean, like, it's very <laughs> weird and stuff. The only thing that's really refined are his arms, his feet, and his head. The body itself is just a mess. Oh, um, man. Like, Object 8, as you, as you see this, like, you yeah. have a really nice kind of, you know, compact design. It's well-designed. Um, this, this particular construct, shoddy work. Like, amateur, you know, baby's first construct work. Um, Gizmo just kind of like begins to start, t like kind of rolls this little rotary dial on the side of his on his goggles, and it begins to change colors as he kind of looks and goes. Mm, the internals look okay, I suppose, but oh my god, the exterior! Talk about shoddy and mm, what? Wow, really? <laughs> they have no boot up state. This is so. Oh, this is hilarious. He just kind of walks away with log. Um... Uh, yeah. Gadget walks up and, with her arms crossed, kind of steps up to you, Task, and goes, "Why are you red?" I'm not from here. Whoa. I'm from way to. I'm from way to the north. To the north. Further than this, I'm not from this continent. Really? I'm None from, of you are. I'm from Iron Oath. What's an Iron Oath? It's a, it's a mountain that houses more of my kind. Well. It used to house my clan, but that's neither here nor there. I have been sent here by a another white scale kobold. She gave me this. I I show the pieces of paper. I show the book. You watched like everyone in a crowd around you, and even you, Object Eight, you recognize what this book is. I I keep the book close to my chest, just like oh, you know what this is then. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I object X, like object eight starts shaking and just like lifts his arm and points. Where did you get that? How did you get that? I'd be willing um, to answer your questions if you help answer mine. You watch as uh, gadget kind of turns to um, project six and goes, "Let him go." And Project 6 kind of lowers the spear and, and walks away. All right, my workshop, let's go. Come on, don't slack, let's go. I follow. Uh, you watch as she walks up to what looks like kind of a chain that's kind of being run. You know, like in um, Monster Hunter where they have like the big kind of chains that's running through the entire area mm -hmm. in like a rotation? Ooh, yeah. Like a you watch lift, as, yeah. Yeah, you watch as there's like a bunch of like buckets filled with what looks like just slag or like, you know, junk rock. You watch as she just jumps on top of that and it rides her up to the next level and she just gets off off at the top and she looks down and goes, come on, let's go. All right, let's do it. Let's jump on it. Right, let's go. Uh, panic looks down. Uh, as you look down, this is actually, it runs down probably a good 100 to 150 feet into the earth. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ride up, eventually getting off, and you see a reasonably sized, like, workshop. Um, probably about the size of, you know, in terms of the spacing, it's very short. But it's wide, like it's got a lot of like ground space to it. As uh, she holds the door open for you, she looks up to you, Borky, and goes, "Yeah, you're gonna have to squeeze and don't touch anything." Well, come on, she's holding the door open for you guys. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Go in. As and, Object Eight, yeah. I quickly 
I quickly go f through all of them, like slipping through, and then go into a very specific corner and just stand there like a statue. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Oh. Uh, you guys head inside. This room contains a lot of more kobolds, probably about five or six, uh, who are each working on, similar to Project 6, these kind of humanoid-looking constructs. They are kind of like splayed out on tables, like almost like surgical tables. Um, and you currently see there's different little cups that are filled with little bits. Uh, and you see as each kobold is kind of running through each little bit. Uh, as Gadget kind of walks over to a, what would be kind of a chair or desk or like a resting spot and just kind of like kicks up their feet and then like kind of throws their wrench into the corner where it clatters and uh, they kind of cross their arms and go, all right. So questions, what do you got? Where are we? Porky <laughs> holds up his hand. <laughs> she just kind of laughs. Uh, you're in the mountain of repetition. Yeah, we got that, but what is this place called? I mean, we don't really have a name for it. It's just, you know, our, our home. It's home. Mm. Are you aware that people down on the surface think that you're all, like, like rare deity mythological-like creatures? Really? She kind of leans forward at that. Did you hear that, Object 8? Apparently we're, like, mythical creatures. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. He kind of looks up and goes, her, her, her. <laughs> <You're watching? laughs> Without breaking eye, talk, uh, eye contact from you guys, uh, Gadget kind of points back to Object 8. We're working on that. That's funny, though. Really. I have well, to say, you're, I mean... you're not as, um, kind of like glances over Borky a little bit. Not as barbaric as I expected. To be fair, the last visitors we had here, well, they seemed at least somewhat refined, and yet, still... You should uh, well, have heard how they said they wanted to eat through the chain. That was incredible. Wait, what? Eat the chain? <laughs> Who wanted to eat the no, chain? No, that was... That was... Look, let's uh, not get... At, he, he just looks at Greckles. <laughs> let's not get into semantics here. We were just actually just trying to find a way to just to open the door. Right. Well, that door is not supposed to be opened. You closed so... that up when you were done, right? Object A just kind of like stands and doesn't answer. Sprint, sprints out of the room. <laughs> and he starts like going back alive and just like slowly walking through the door. <sighs> and you watch this just like Gadget just kind of sighs as you leave. Well, uh, if, if it's any consolation, no one was behind us, we think. Good. I mean, the dead zone helps protect us. Still, if you made it through, that's a bit concerning. Well, no, I mean, like, we did, but, uh, for yep. just, just a panic. Uh, not all of us almost did. Well, uh, we're just that damn good, I guess. Task, mm. like, there's a table in front of us, yeah? Yeah, 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 it's like a task. Ta task creates the image from the book that, uh, that Winter, uh, pieced together. Hmm. You know, we never thought about tearing it apart. Strange that it shows our tunnels. I wonder if this book updates itself. Interesting. This is a holy relic. I hope you know that, right? No, I didn't. The only thing that I did know was that it was supposed to lead me here. I'm supposed to... I don't know if I'm supposed to meet with Oriara or if I'm... I, I am from... We come from Alavast, and there is a really, really bad issue going on. Do you know of a man named Darkus? No... Do you not see all the dragons flying around the base of the mountain scorching the earth? Oh, yeah, we see the dragons. Uh, we've dealt with a couple. I mean, <laughs> anti-air ballista are a beautiful invention. Well, they're all organized. Well, that's concerning. It's very concerning, the fact that he wants me and he wants the, the, the woman who sent me up here, the white-scale kobold I was telling you about. Apparently, they want us in a hostage situation, and I need to speak to Oriara. Look, I hate to be a spoil sport, and I'm sure it's no surprise to you that we're pretty hermited up here, but why is that our concern? Like, logically. Well, let me run in a hypothetical by you real quick. We like hypotheticals. You watch as she like leans back and taps, you know, the fleshy 
lizard hands to the metal metal claw hands and sits back in her chair. So imagine there are people like us who were intelligent and powerful enough to get all the way up here, surpass all of your traps, and we're pretty friendly so far. I mean, like we're sitting down, we're cordial. Are we willing to turn our weapons over? Imagine if we were a bunch of fucking dragons come to burn and eat all of you. <laughs> we're not too scared of dragons. Or are you scared of are you scared of three ancient dragons melded together by magic? Melded. She does cock her head at that one. Now that's different. So the cultist leader. Heads. The cultist leader has been taking dragons, one that it completely annihilated my entire hometown. That's why I came here, to find him and kill him. But now my entire travels have changed, and now he seeks to use me as leverage to make Instrock. She holds up her hand and leans over to a tube that's running through the building. You watch as she flips up a little hatch, like a, like a little tiny like lid, and she goes, Could someone send back Object 8 to me, please? I'm right here. He like oh. comes as he's like... Looks up from the 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 desk. Uh, d uh disregard that. It closes it. Object eight. I know that a few of your siblings have spoken about a three-headed dragon from Oriara. Did you ever receive such a vision on your own, in regards to you know, the project? And she kind of gives you a wink a little bit. The project. In the oh. big hangar. Yes. Uh, no, she hasn't talked to me about it. Hmm. I wonder if that's why. Well, even though she hasn't talked to me about it, that has to be something important if she told me that these guys are. So your goal here is to warn us about the dragons. That's what you want? You said you mm. want to speak to Oriara? It's a little more complicated than that. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more complicated than that. Well, we do complicate it pretty well here. You watch as she kind of juts her head over and you watch as one of the constructs on the table begins to kind of rise up and begins to, like, move. And the kobold begins to instruct it. I'm sorry. I don't know if we got your name, actually. Me? I'm Gadget. Gadget. My brother, twin brother with the goggles is Gizmo. Gadget, let me put it this way. We come from a city where there are all different kinds of people. People like us, people like you... People like Object 8, and, uh... She tilts her head the moment you say that and looks towards you. Our nice. city, our city though new, is refined. We have strong defenses. Well, I mean, if it and matters it's... what it's worth, I was very barbaric like the mother orcs, and now, uh, I now I own a nice little business. Anyway, Got some side go hustles on. going on. What's a go business? On. Ooh. Uh, do you, oh well that's that's opening a can of worms uh Anywho. do you have currency here like like coin and he'll, he'll like pull out a gold coin she kind of tilts her head and looks at it. we trade bars and we do bartering with the cloud giants but oh, oh well that's close enough <laughs> to get back imagine imagine to our horror at just Hundreds and hundreds of people from our city taken by this organized collection of all different kinds of chromatic dragons. And I can promise you that our town isn't going to be the only one. It has. We thought we, we thought we were safe. We did see some burning quite a while ago. Do you remember that object eight, that field way to the south on fire? Yes. I don't like to think about it. Yeah. Well, I'm that grim reminder that tells you that that's coming very soon. All right, all right, relax. Kind of sits forward in her chair again. I have one question for you. You said people like me? He points at himself and just like the little clanging sound as he pushes against his chest. There are many like you. In fact, Please. one of them, one of them is our neighbor. His name's Big Guy. He makes horseshoes. Yeah, they... You saw the construct we brought in, right? Yeah, and he just like kind of looks down and then looks over. It's like, are they children of Oriara? There shouldn't be we... children of Oriara beyond this mountain that 
did catch my attention. We book. we act, we actually. You watch as as Gadget slams the metal arm on the on the table. The human took the book to make more, without the, her guidance. That would explain human? why it's so bad. In design, maybe. Well, let's let's not jump. To, let's not use those words like, like that. Log is great. He's a very powerful worshiper of Oriara. Does great things now, Vast. Absolutely huge things. He but actually has. has a, it does. And he actually, oh, he actually teaches at a a, a temple of Oriar that is affixated to our place of business. Roll a, roll a persuasion. <clears throat> roll a persuasion. Excellent. Gadget, gadget reads, reads you. Okay. That is a oh, it's a fourteen. That's fine. You made a temple to Oriara in this far off land that you live in. We did. Yeah. yeah. On huh. Log's behest. On we owed him because he kind of saved our life. He, he he saved our lives, and in return, he requested that we make a temple for Oriara, and we did so, and it's right behind our property. You watch as she leans over. Gage! And you watch as a kobold comes running up. I need the log book, please. Yeah, of course. You watch as they the come back book? with this huge book. Uh, it is a massive book with like stuff kind of stuck in, and you watch as Gadget just feverishly begins to write. It's, I'm sorry, what's this book called again? It's a log of all the behaviors of the constructs begin to show. If what you're saying is true, well, hmm, interesting. Right, no, no, Borky, the log can mean a lot of different things. No, it's no, not, no, no, don't even try log to explain it log it's too confusing. It's He'll a book we write information into to make sure that our descendants <laughs> know the knowledge we've collected. Specifically, there that there are constructs beyond our mountain, which makes you feel a little disgusted, but I'm willing to forgive based on their intelligence. How many are there? Do you know? Um, um, there's enough I, that causes anxiety to some people. Uh, I've actually been inside the uh, the church during the time. Uh, do I? Can I roll something to recollect how many there were? It'd be intelligence to remember. All right, here I go. Eight. Uh, Eight. Why the fuck does Roll20 hate me role-playing? Like, Jesus. <laughs> um, you remember, I mean, you remember between 20 to 30, maybe? Maybe, like, mid-20? Wait, sure. wait, so, uh, hang on. I'm, I, I just looked in my notes. So, Fret was 86. That's as high as I can remember. Um... And the one who did clothing so, was called Nine. Yeah, what was Steve? Yeah. Steve was 67? 67? Oh, it was so, 68. So Probably in the hundreds then. He watches Gadget looks and goes, they had serial numbers. Well, yes. yeah. The As far as we can tell, there was 86. 86. Where we come from. One Constructs. thing to bear in mind, though, is that they began giving themselves names. That is what's catching my attention. Though, to be fair, Object 8, I know you have a moniker as well, but them giving themselves names is fascinating, to say the least. They do not seem to be as... They, they seem to be more autonomous than most people give them credit for. Their intelligence comes in short bursts and at random intervals, like Log. Like Oriana's And it's, reach. And it's the, and, growing. And they've also begun creating art. No, no. You watch as, uh, as uh, Gadget kind of taps the pen on, uh, on the table. No, this is good. This is very good. This is very good. Object 8, you have no recollection, knowledge, anything that Oriara has informed you of of this nature? No, but I do find it kind of strange. Do you think they've had... Exiles? Mm, that is my concern. Have any of these so-called constructs of this serial nature attacked anyone? Well, it's oh god, there was there is an, an an incident, but that was like golems or something. There was a statue, right? Dolmar. Uh, it was, it, it, oh, yeah, was, it, was what, Dolmar. What, it was it was a man. He was uh, the man who might, who helped create. The constructs. He had a rival who sucked. 
<laughs> you see, creating things is not a competitive affair. It is a collaborative affair. So clearly that's where the falter lies within the humans who tried to build these uh, constructs. But notable, none of the constructs themselves have attacked people. None have assaulted them. It was a no. growing con it was a growing concern for a time, but it has been quelled. No, oh, there was there was one might the the first one, Mike Crank, I think. Yeah, he's a hero, wasn't, actually. Yeah, wasn't there something to do with Mike Crank like rising up and doing a lot of good things for the constructs in Alabast? Like he was the first one yeah. and the most powerful. Might crank. He watches gadgets writing this down. That seems weird that the first one is the more powerful one and the rest just start to decline. Well, he, he was, assuming, well, this creator, assuming this creator didn't serialize his failures, which sometimes they don't, which is why 86 mm -hmm. might not be the entire lot number, but more one that succeeded, so to speak. It's, but, it's the but, highest that we know of. Also, I think... No, I mean... Mike, Mike Crank was... Mike Crank was construct number one made by Artemis. Yeah, he he was shut down because he was defending the city, I think, if I remember correctly. I, I forget he, from what. He, he fought against the fire giants. Yeah, he... Was right! Got it. Yeah. Yep, the fire giants he, took him down. He was also supposedly the first to hear Oriara. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 he's not. He's not the first year Oriara. <laughs> That's funny, though. That is very funny. <laughs> well, forgive the oh. ignorance. We are learning just as much as you are today. Fair enough, but there's no way. Our original ancestors were the first to hear Oriara. She fell on this mountain, for Pete's sake. So let's be real. <laughs> Though, I suppose her reach reaching that far is interesting, but still, the first one. <laughs> she starts, like, laughing. All right, okay. Uh, oh, oh, man. My leg. So, so, um, interesting. Man, Robald's gonna love this. Um, yeah, huh. Well, I don't know how I feel about a bunch of outsiders running around. Yeah, we've already gotten that a lot today. The yeah. moment I speak to... The moment I speak whole to Oriara, the faster that. we can leave. <laughs> hey, look, buddy. And she kind of looks towards you. No one just speaks to Oriara. The only one who can speak to Oriara are these guys. And she jabs a thumb towards Object 8. He kind of lifts his hand and waves. Hello. Oh, by the way, you said you had, like, a, a designation. What What's that? What's that about? People like to call me Abby. <gasps> I love it. Obby. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> way better than it Object just, 8. It just makes it easier to say my name when I have done something not good. How how well, tall is Obby, by the way? Three, he's three feet. foot. Three, three foot. Yeah, <laughs> three feet. So, so Task Obby, is about like two inches on Obby. Obby yeah. can contact Oriara, yes? Maybe we can... No. No. No, 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 no. He kind of like shakes his head. She contacts me it doesn't go the other way around oh i'm gonna pull out the mask and put it's it on those relationships you you watch as like gadget looks really perturbed you watch as um the cobalt task uh object eight pulls out a porcelain mask mm -hmm. and places it on his face <laughs> what are you planning to do with that do I slip away or no? Nothing happens, and Gadget's just like looking at you, like the eyes are narrowed. Like what the uh, fuck are those things? Of course, Aos is going to be fucking silent the moment we get up the mountain. I take it off. Well, hey, Wait. so tap. Whoa, 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 Aos. Oh, now that got your interest. Yes, he's the whole. It is the whole reason I'm up here. This mask lets me speak to it. You're speaking to Aos. It Aos likes to stutter a lot. And to be fair, the, ma the mask doesn't let you speak to it. You right, just, see, hey, you, we, you we, just all, we all speak to people. I talk to my magic sword. Huh. Aos talks to you. Yes, it's the whole reason I'm coming up this mountain. I thought you said a white... Oh, well...
Huh. Do you know her now, finally? No, not your friend, but Ao sometimes takes the guise of a kobold with a mask on its face. What? A mask that's a bit like... You watch as she points over at the mask you're holding. Huh. Wait, so Aos is a physical being that resides somewhere around here? Oh, no. They're depicted, but no one's ever seen them. We've just heard stories oh. about them. Uh, well, congratulations. We're the first to give you a little bit more evidence. I mean, we already know that they exist. We don't need proof of that. Huh. And they talk to you. Look, this is all... This is all very interesting and whatnot. But I don't... An entire city wants me dead, and my oldest rival, who killed my entire civilization, is out there waging war and burning down nations. I need to stop him and right this wrong. Something has to be pushed forward, and I don't know where to go from here. Hmm. He sounds pretty upset. Yes, but emotion... Yeah. Emotion sacrifices intelligence. Look, I can't promise to help you. I'm just a worker here, and I'm mostly trying to keep you off the streets. But I wonder. You wonder what? We received a message from Oriara a while ago. Object 8 knows more about it than I do, about our secret project. Mm, yes. Even though it doesn't work. It is, it is still undergoing. What is? Well, uh, how much can I tell them? Let's show them. Okay. Ooh. All right. That's you usually worth a thousand words. So that's good. You watch as uh, Gadget gets up and you watch as uh, one of the other kobolds walking goes, I'm having a problem with the hydraulic system in the left eye. Uh, um... Mm. Look, Object 8. Yes? Go talk to Wrench. Just tell them they're friends, I guess. Mm. Oh, okay. And he saunters off. Alright, well, you gotta go over here. You gotta fix the screen. You watch his gadget kind of walks off and begins to instruct. You guys are left with Object 8. Well, I suppose after you, then. Well... Uh, if you come this way, let's let's just let's just go over there. You will you might want to take a step back once you see it. It's a little big. And he starts leading the way forward. Yeah, you kind of duck and weave. You actually guys cut through different workshops. It's a very like open plan. Like there's there's confined buildings clearly for things like smelting, um, you know, like acid bathing, things like that. Uh, I'm just imagining just you see someone just doing welding. Zzz, zzz. Welcome oh, to yeah. the shop. Yeah, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, almost every single cobalt, if they're not like preparing food or cleaning, is working on something in some degree. You have some that are working on the prosthetics that you see. You have some that are working on weapons. You have some that are working on just like weird, tiny little devices that you can't really place a finger on. Um, and there's one room where literally you walk through and it's like 50 clocks, like oh, big. Geez giant clocks like 50 of them and you watch as like this cobalt is like done and then hangs another one and then immediately starts building another one <laughs> and this is incredibly foreign to us right oh yeah, yeah. this yeah. is so alien right now like you guys are used to like blacksmith working the earth farmers this is very strange like uh, it, it's beyond comprehension for most of you object data i have a question yes i'm slowly losing hope that this is the case but in any time that you've been around here, has there ever been a kobold that may have had coal scales? I don't think I recall. I'm sorry. Yeah, you've never seen anything like that. I mean, you've seen some of the actual kobolds who work mm -hmm. with coal get, you know, coal on them, but beyond that, no, you haven't. Yeah. And none that looked like me. Do Have I? No, I don't think so. You have, yeah, you've heard of one. Wait, I have? Okay. Yeah. Uh, someone stole a pedal copter, actually. Oh. And they said they were red. But you, that was, um, Rusty. Old Rusty said that someone old stole Rusty. one of his... Yeah, Old Rusty. Uh, he said that someone stole his pedal copter and he swore it was a red kobold, but no one believed him, because there's no such thing. Well, 
Apparently, a red cobalt stole something, and nobody believed him, but you are living proof that they exist, so maybe it's not as strange as they say. Tash, Cap did you steal something? Casually, Matatsu's over to or to Abi. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just like kind of looks like shocked. <laughs> oh, what did this uh, red kobold look like? If there is any description, there is no description. Just red. I don't know anything. Sorry. Uh, oh, of course, there's not enough information. I need to. Tash just like fucking it's... holds himself back. Let's just see what you have to show us first before I have a goddamn aneurysm. Wait a minute. Is is this old Rusty still among us? Oh yeah, he is. Despite everybody's wants. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Oh, what did he do? What did this oh, Rusty shit. guy do? Wow. God damn. Right, can we, okay, we, I like to adopt Rusty. I don't like how they're treating I mean, him. It's true. <laughs> I don't have to say it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah um, you, you know, you know, old Rusty. He works. He works on flight shit. He makes flying devices. So, well, if you want to have more information, maybe you could find him later and ask him yourself. Yes, I would like that very much. But let's let's quickly get business attended with. Okay, uh, you guys make your way to part of like a crater in the mountain. That's kind of like a a horizontal crater that has been sealed off with like just a giant wall. It looks like it can open, like it can be rolled up and opened. Uh, you guys kind of climb up this really aggressively long ladder, like it's Statue of Liberty long. Uh, yeah, like Snake Eater. <laughs> like oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, while, while we're going up, can I be just like, do you guys even know the story of Oriara in this mountain? Uh, vague bits and pieces. We've heard that she actually came careening down uh, rear end first. If that is how you primitively want to say it, yes. Um, well, if you want to hear, I can give you a little explanation. Certainly. All right. Yes, I need things explained. Well, before the Mountain of Repetition became what it was, a large dragon lived on top of it named Nash. And, well... Nope, 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 nope. Nash, Nash is a god. Uh, oh. the, the red dragon had a different name. Oh, you you told me that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, wait that's a spoiler. Oh. <laughs> uh, I actually don't have his name on hand, the red dragon's oh. name. Well, then so. let's just let's just keep it red dragon. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorin? I, no, their name wasn't Sasorin. Okay. Yeah. Then what? Well, then that was the wrong name that you probably gave me on accident. I probably messed that up. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, but it was, yeah, there was a red dragon on top of the mountain. You may continue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the... <laughs> there was a red dragon on top of the mountain, and when Oriara fell down, she killed him almost immediately. And the kobolds that lived here, they started freaking out, and out of fear, worshipped Oriara, and that's how all of this came to be. That sounds and it, so stupidly on point. Yeah, you know, it, you gotta think about it this way. So, like, say you got a dragon, it makes sense. And, like, hey, this dragon's great, we love this dragon. And then all of a sudden, this giant thing just comes down, boom, kills it with one hit. You're like, ah, oh, this is what we worship now. It does make sense. It does. But, but it begs the question, why are these kobolds constantly building more and more constructs? I'm sure there's an obvious answer, but still... Well, from my knowledge and the way that I was built, it was to appease Oriara. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I don't know. She would have to tell me, and I am also not the smartest, unfortunately. Hmm. You guys reach the top of the ladder eventually. <laughs> yep. Finally. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh you currently see standing outside two kobolds who are kind of going over some uh some blueprints uh you watch as you would know these two uh it's nuts and bolts that's their name uh they walk over to you and go hey abby hello he just kind of the other one again. the other one walks up and goes what, what the fuck is this who are they they are the Unexpectables, and they are here on command of Oriara, I think. Something like that. What? Uh. It, it's confusing, I know, but 
we wanted to show them what we're working on here. We? We. <sighs> okay. It's a secret project, Abby. You know that, right? If it makes any difference, Gadget sent us. Oh my god, the bird talks. Huh. <laughs> Whoa. Is it, they watch, you watch as these two kobolds walk over and they're just like, is it some sort of verbal prosthetic? All right, all right, all right, all right. Just, just, a voice just box inside one thing the depth at a time. Of the throat. They're like, they're starting to analyze you now and like looking at you. And one of them like jabs you in the neck is like, no, that's flesh. Uh, all right, we can we can we can stop with that. I can if explain makes, everything. If it makes you feel any better about this, I probably won't understand it when you describe it because I'm really out of my depth. Pork just has these wide eyes looking around, like, <laughs> what is this place? It's just this long stare. Porky's had a mile long stare this entire <laughs> time. Uh, Goblin, stop! Meow 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 meow. So Stop. to so to be completely honest, if you want to take it up with anyone, you can take it up with Ratchet. Or Ratchet? Gadget, excuse me. Wow. Sorry. Wow. wow. Oh, you just God. summoned the one name you can't. They all kind of look to each other and laugh. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ratchet makes tools. We were a little confused there, but uh, well, Gadget I mean, makes more sense. We've, we've been meeting a lot of people today, so apologies. All right, Object 8, let him in. But don't let them touch anything, all right? Okay, he just like kind of stands in front of them in the entire group and just like stands again like a statue. While you are undergoing the viewing process, please keep your hands to yourself and do not touch anything. Thank you. And he turns around <laughs> and then leads the way. All right. Nice. You guys walk into the, there's no door, like no little door on this hangar. Uh, it is just an open area with like some cloth that kind of hangs over the entrance. Uh, as you guys go inside, there are lights in here. Like, actual mechanical like, lights. electrical lights? Like, oh, electrical God. lights, almost. Oh! What the Wait, fuck is what, this? What is, what a strange kind of sorcery I'm seeing with me orky eyes. Wouldn't Tess' eyes fucking, like, become the thing from the Spongebob movie where his eyes are on fire? My eyes! <laughs> Your eyes are, like, blinking. You're kind of like that one gif of Buzz Lightyear where he's like... <laughs> 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 uh, as you guys walk inside, the sheer size of what you see just hits you right in the senses. It is a dragon. It is a massive, gargantuan, colossal metal dragon with uh -huh. multiple silver-plated scales and giant canvas wings and eyes of perfectly clear glass. It is massive and it's hanging from the roof of the mountain. It is like hitched to the ceiling of the mountain with its head facing the hangar opening. See, that, that's confusing to me. <laughs> that, about, is it alive? There's about 50 different kobolds working on it right now. Uh, on that question, Obi just kind of walks forward and then turns around again and the, then just like looks up at him. I call it error because no, it doesn't work as you probably can tell. It's named error? No, I call it error because uh, that's what it is. Oh, you have a mechanical dragon. Uh, this is Ta Tash, Tash just holds his fucking arms up in the air. <gasps> Nothing could go wrong with this. Nothing <laughs> at all. Nothing the fuck at all. <laughs> he just kind of freaks up. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I just taught the contract how to say fuck. Amazing. It's kind of a catch-all word. It's really great. Get a lot of flex out of it. When do you use it? Ah, uh, when I look at this thing and go, holy fuck. Porky's just gesturing at the giant dragon. Oh my god! So why? So you're building a giant mechanized dragon for what purpose? To have a giant fucking metal dragon task. I the, wish I could answer sorry, that question. Like you're talking to the guy whose ha whose entire home was ravaged by them. This is a doomsday device. And why would you not want to have one of those? Because if Darkus gets his hands on it, everyone's dead! Would Darkus even know how to use it? Does Darkus even know about this place? 
if I he's mean, following me, then most likely he has some kind of dumbass crying thing, because that's the kind of day we've been having. Is he uh, okay? No, I'm it, not! Thank you for asking! It, he's he's going to be okay. This is kind of normal. Well, Abby, why is this under construction? Um, well, Oriara wanted it, but I'm not sure exactly why. I don't think enough. any of us know. We just do as we are told. But the problem Awful. is, it doesn't work. It hasn't since we started. Ugh, that what's familiar. Wrong, what's wrong with it? We don't know. You know that the power source, none of the power sources you usually use on most constructs is working. Um... <clears throat> Wait, sorry, what? Sorry. Just no, no power, okay. no, no power sources that you know of is working. You've tried everything from magical conduits to fuel to, like, anything you could possibly manage. N nothing will shut it on. We don't know why. We've tried almost everything. Have you tried magic? Have we tried magic? <laughs> yeah, you've tried a little bit of magic. Yes, a little bit, but I'm not sure I'm very capable of knowing much about it. At least to start a construct. Mostly in a size like this. Mm. Tass like fucking puts his hand on his chest and like says internally in his head, if you want to wake up and give any sort of explanation, now would be the best time. Um, How big was Dolmar? Dolmar was like... I would say he was probably a large creature, huge creature between that size. Like, he was about 12 feet tall. He was big. Between large and huge. Yeah. Well, there is one thing I can think of. Yeah, this this no. particular creature, or this, this particular dragon, would be considered, you know, gargantuan or colossal. Fuck. Holy fun. fuck! <laughs> Wait, Panic, are you, are you thinking uh, a soul crystal? Mm, I mean, if Dolmar could get the inanimate <clears throat> statue rise up and be a vessel for his soul. Mm. Yeah, but that's that's some kind of crazy mm. necromantic magic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like look, like, look at it. It's pretty big, so, like, yep. Well, Dolmar is pretty big. <laughs> Fuck, he's got, he's just... <laughs> Borky's in sensory overload right now. Ta Tass, like, holds his face. Oh, don't tell me the fucking flame in my st in my chest is the source of power they're looking for. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we were mm -hmm. trying to put... A if we were trying to put all this together, isn't that what Darkus wants? Uh, like, but, but like, why would we cut your heart out or your body? N how, does one, how does one operate this thing? Uh, Abby, you would know that inside there is like a controller, uh, mm -hmm. almost like a gear shift style mm -hmm. controller uh, that controls various parts. It takes about, it takes a few people to man this thing. This is not a solo, you know, solo piloted thing. So uh, it's like a complete cockpit. It's like a complete cockpit, like almost yeah. like, um, like, get, for lack of a the, better word, like a, like a steampunk airship or something get, like get that. Get the Eva task. Don't, don't ta I mean, uh, Taka, <laughs> don't worry. Every fucking human being on my Discord is telling me that in a private message. I know. I know. Get, <laughs> get, my, get, 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 into, get into Eva task. <laughs> <laughs> Panic over there doing Gendo Akari pose. Hmm. <laughs> Can I uh, look around and see if any of the kobolds are available to talk to and give more information? Nuts and Bolts is there. They've been, like, watching Tass oh, okay. out the entire time and are, like, <laughs> exchanging looks. Like, what the fuck is this guy? Okay, so, like, instantly I'm going to walk up to... <laughs> I'm going to walk up and just uh, point towards both of them and be like, they can help. If you have questions, ask them. Head turns yeah. 180 degrees. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Look, I'm not sure how we feel about letting some unhinged kind of weirdo going inside of the cockpit of the Dragon Project. No, but... I I understand that this is all fucking bizarre and strange for everyone to take in. Wait, 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 Task. Do, do you still have the book? I still have the book, yes. 
Yeah, you didn't give it to Gadgets. You still have it. They don't yep. know what you have and what you're here for. I I show them the book. They all, like, every single head in this hangar turns and looks, even the ones that shouldn't be able to see that. <laughs> Almost like a chain reaction, they all turn and look at that book, and their eyes go wide. Well, at least I know how to get everyone's attention in the fucking room. The original Are script. Are you always this mad? <laughs> yes. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> from from what we can understand, Oriara came to him pointing at task. And we like to think that this is a little bit of proof. And now I got the voice of Aos telling me to come up to this mountain. For what purpose? I don't know, because Tas like bumps his chest with like his with his with his fist. He's really fucking spotty about telling me what I'm supposed to do. I want to imagine that echoed really loudly. Oh, yeah. It echoed through the entire <laughs> yeah. hangar. Are you awake? Okay, I'm good. So, I have this book. I came all the way up here. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Please help me. Okay, buddy. We're just going to... You watch as the two kobolds walk around. You just kind of pat you on the back. Take a deep breath, Okay. Look, not all projects end the way you want them to, nor do they start the way you want them to. Sometimes stuff breaks down. Sometimes stuff explodes. Usually it explodes. But you just got to keep working through it, okay? And then one day, you'll have a construct that succeeds. Fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Look, it's all we know, man. I'm just trying to help. God, he's outside. He just kind of starts walking away. I, I, I think yeah, what yeah. you're trying to I'm, say, Task, is is that while you may not know what's going on now, if you just try enough, if you listen, take your time, analyze things, you'll get your We answers. are on a time limit, and I'm the cause! <laughs> Task, it's a pretty big time limit, to be fair. We're like a week into this thing. And also, to be fair, to be fair to Aos, like, we don't know the extent of Aos's power here. Like, if only talk to me at my lowest mental point, and on the brink of death. So I think it was pretty important just looks at Pat, to get those like, messages out. Hmm. At their lowest, huh? Cool. That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm done. I check out. Until something happens, I don't know what to do. And I hate that I'm useless. I want okay, okay Obby's gonna walk up to task and just like slowly take his hand while his own are like warming up a little bit and he goes you don't need to worry we can always figure it out eventually you just need to lower the volume a bit and maybe we'll figure it out tash just holds his face whatever fucking whatever man <laughs> what the fuck ever uh, you uh, you listen as you hear a bell ringing out through the entire area and all the kobolds immediately drop what they're doing and run out the door uh, oh, you God, would know what's this. happening now. You would know this, Abby, as the dinner bell. It's oh. or the lunch bell. This is the lunch bell. Um, the moment it rings, everyone stops what they're doing and they run down for lunch. And this is where we're going to take a break. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. oh boy! Yep, sorry. You cut. You kind of caught task at the anger point of the of his journey. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like sitting in the background, like trying not to die. <laughs> You're doing great, Chef. Hi, welcome to the game, by the way. Yeah, no, tr Hi. trust me. You're, 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 you're doing great. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm nervous as all hell because this is like my what my third D and D game I've ever played. Oh, uh, and you're in my fucking story arc. God Listen, damn it! I'm, I'm having, sorry. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> also, talking into a cup is really fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. I wish I wish I could have given you more warning because a coffee can works amazingly. Like that's. That's the best thing. Honestly. You mean like I, this? I mean, I've literally just moved into my new apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have, I have a cup. I have a cup. <laughs> my mom literally, my mom literally, like, yeah. she was throwing out this can and she's like, do you want this can? I'm like, yes. And she's like, okay, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it works like to well. Make a call to Oriara. Please hang up and try again. If you need <laughs> help, hang up and dial the operator. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, All right, yeah. I uh, this is where you can get up and get food or, or yeah. get a snack. The only thing is, um, with with this, we don't eat on stream. So if you want to eat something, you got to eat it really quickly. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, this is this is the time if you need to 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 use the facilities. You may. How so, long is the break? 
uh, usually 20, 10, 10, 10 or so minutes, 10, 15 okay. at most. So it's pretty short. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. I got to I got to get up too. Now's it's the time cool. for it. Yeah, I gotta oh, get to eat something, and yeah. I gotta get my cat. And I gotta get my cat to be quiet because she just keeps screaming. So I'll be right back. Meow. Meow. Okay. Meow. Be right back. Well, I guess. Uh, I guess I, uh, Curdy here. All right, I guess I'll read off some some bits and and stuff since I'm the only one here. Uh, I don't know when we started off, so I'm just gonna make a guess. If I went too far before or after, I apologize. But here we go. Uh, oh, boy. First off, I'm going to thank uh, Frugal Man. Uh, thank you for uh, subscribing with Twitch Prime. Uh, and Sailor Midgard, thank you also for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Dominator, thank you for subscribing for one month. I'll... Al Andre, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Wells234, thank you for subscribing for two months. Achilles Nipple, thank you for subscribing for two months. Neo Monkey Man, thank you for subscribing for two months. Joker18 Jr., thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Noxious Virus117, thank you for subscribing with, for two months. Craig B., thank you for subscribing for two months. No more Kono. Thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Athgar45. Thank you for subscribing for two months. Shiny Lamp. Thank you for subscribing for two months. Please tell me that Log is okay. I don't care about you, just Log. Well, I'm thanks. sorry. He's dead. Log's officially dead now. Yeah. You've killed him. Yep. It's your fault, Shiny Lamp. Uh, two cents change. Thank you for... Subscribing to Twitch Prime for two months. Do you have your passport? I got it right here. I got it, I got it right here. And you can check it. Please don't shoot balls into my mouth. It's pretty cool, uh, Panic. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Panic, a rope. We can use this to traverse up the, the mountain of repetition. Help me, Panic. <laughs> Impact Frame, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime for two months. Welsh93, thank you as well for subscribing for, for subscribing for two months. Wow, two months already. Yep. Turtle Squad, the Turtle Squad, thank you for gifting five tier one subs to the community. Junior Malak, thank you for subscribing. Hey. The Cannon Fodder, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Holy balls, we just hit another hype train. Oh, snap. Ryle Gimmick. Thank you for subscribing. Is it just us two? Uh, I guess so. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to wait until Kurt gets back. Silly Soul 99. The trick. <laughs> Silly Soul 99. Thank you for... Oh, God. Where did it go? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. there it is. Uh, thank you for subscribing for two months. Hey, two months already. Wonderful. The Turtle Squad, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Fantasy Voltron. Viridian Winter, thank you for subscribing for two months. Hello. Hello. Rosa06, thank you for two months of subscribing. Mad Tom K, thank you for the 100 bits. Getting the damn dragon task. <laughs> cool we Shirt Guy, thank you for the, thank you for the bit. We've already been in a mecha crab. A mecha dragon's just par for the course at this point, yeah. but in the best way. One bit says that log is the power source. That's what I'm thinking. Gotta fix them, though. Link highly, I think for the 1,400 bits, Evangelion task intensifies. Getting the damn robo-dragon task. So, chat, which which uh, Unexpectables character would be which Evangelion character? That That's my homework for you. Oh, God. It's been... I've, I've I've never actually sat down and watched the entirety of Evangelion, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. You're missing nothing and everything at the same time. I that's what I've heard. <laughs> like it's very so 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 you know how um, Gurren Logan takes a weird shift to halfway through. Imagine yeah. imagine that times a hundred. 
Okay, well, I like Gurren Lagann, so... Okay, so you remember when they're they're using galaxies as frisbees? Yeah, that's hey, that, I'm, that, I'm, that's, I'm, pul I'm, that's poultry compared to this. I'm I'm back. Hey, have you been reading up bits? Welcome and stuff? back. I sure have. We left off on Link Hylia for with fourteen hundred bits. Link Hylia. Yep, Link Hylia. Link Hylia. Yep. Fourteen hundred bits. Ten ago. <coughs> I'm back. Yeah, I was about to Welcome say I, my, my, I, I, mine goes up to it go up oh, it's up to five minutes and then just says two hours. Oh, okay, so we're just missing some time now. Uh, oh. Renfield eighty eight with the ten subs. Thank you so much to Renfield eighty eight for ten subs though. That is that is nice. incredibly kind and generous. Uh, Renfield eighty eight with additional five subs on top of that afterwards. My God, fifteen subs from Renfield eighty eight. My goodness, kindness is overwhelming. Ozark Shadow, Lunar the Dragon, Cool Shirt Guy, Zambowski, Like a Stark Fang, OG Skyer. Thanks so much for the subs as well. 321 Ajimo. Thanks so much for the sub as well. Link Highly at gifting five subs to the community as well, followed by Mark Wolf gifting five subs. So a big shout out to Jeez. Link Highly and Mark Wolf. And oh my God. Oh, it, it continues. Uh. It doesn't stop. Black Foot Fair with the 420 bits. Hype, 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 hype. Nightshade. With a two month resub, thank you. Nice and gifting us some to Daft Python. Thank you. Defected with the 300 bits as well. Thank you so much. Sloth with five subs, gift to the community as well. Goddamn, Sloth. Thank you so much for all your subs. You've been dropping three, two, one, at Gimo with a thousand bits. Hooray for Shenpai Limes. Yay. Also, I hope the ham eviction went well. The ham eviction. The what? That's that's probably that's probably a, a Shin inside joke. So. Ah, I will have. I, Shen, come back! Grim Pete with 500 bits. Finally get to see this live. Normally I have my own DD campaign on Wednesdays. Well, thank you so much for being here, dude. Uh, X Wildly Willie, thank you for the bits. Console Button, thank you for the bits. Xandro is gifting us up to Gulf City Viking. Thank you so much. Freedom uh, 13, thank you so much. Elated Megalodon with the 500 bits. Hair, there goes my Platinum Kobolds theory. Throws hopes and dreams out the window. <laughs> oh. Kane, sorry. Tom, Nerdy Gaming Inc. John49357, thank you so much for the bits. Like a Stark Fang with a 500 bits. Hey, guys, I'm catching the stream live for the first time in over a year. I hope I can catch these streams live in the future. Well, like a Stark Fang, we do too. Thank you so much for being here. Armada, Armada X, uh, X3, thank you so much for the bits. Defective Sheep with five subs gifted to the community. Defective Sheep, thank you so freaking much for your continuing kindness. A Scuba Steve, 1258 with a thousand bits. Ha 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 ha. Hype train. I will also thank you so much, Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve. Dax767, thank you for the sub, as well as Viridian Winter with 1500 bits. Hype! That was a party hype right there. And Vananagi, thank you so much for the bits. And Armada, Armada TX3, thank you so much for the bits as well. Goddamn. All right. So, like, I have to ask. Now, I'm seeing Shenpai. Now, I missed, I must have missed it. What, what is Shenpai's character like? D does it have hair? No. Vo oh, sorry. Vo oh, my Voxer. character. Oh, Voxer. Oh, yeah, Voxer. Are you, are you talking? You're talking about Voxer. Yes. I must have missed something. What is the context you, you missed, of this? So, so someone, <laughs> someone was asking about an inside joke. Taka, what was okay. it? The ham. I don't remember. Oh, the ham. What, what's the ham about, Shen? The ham. It's a, it's an Animal Crossing joke. Oh, okay. I mean, I figured. Hey, Shen. Yeah. Can I actually like just fucking quickly like apologize that you had to fucking like. Enter task at his <laughs> most fucking like, no, just, like you had you had to enter task. I, I always feel bad whenever we have guests, and it's just like, oh god, I have to be tasked with someone new. Fuck. <laughs> oh god, I have to be tasked. I have to be tasked. What a I great first him. impression. I am. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry that you made me love him more. <laughs> uh, real quick, but um, yes, I'm like. So, does your character have hair? Like I, because I see your, I see your icon yeah. here in the chat. And so you're like a very human-looking construct, then. N N what? 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 Yeah, your icon's a human. I got, I kind of got concerned Leo, as well. Leo, 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 is... we don't use the icons in Real Twenty. You guys have to look at the overlay to see what yeah. a character looks like. Oh, yeah. oh. You got the, okay. Got the two, the I mean, Monty things. can post the thing. I have icons, also made a sketch I of it. Icons are, are are null and void in Roll20 now. We don't use them anymore. Instead, we use our overlay. Uh, um, so. Wait, I well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not looking at the chat, so that's why I was also like, oh, I, I didn't know that was a thing. I posted it in general for you guys. Okay, thank you. 
Yeah, that's what he looks like. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Also, thank also you. shout out, shout out to Bracky Zoid who did the artwork uh, for that. He always says our icons. He's so fucking incredible. Mm-hmm. That's cute. That's really cute. That's really cute. I got a couple more people to shout out here. I wrote Kaiser the Metal with 1,500 minutes. Hey, guys, miss the start of the stream, and I'll catch up with you in the VOD. Was at work making sure the good people of the land get their pizza? 1,500 bits from I wrote Kaiser the Metal. Wolfscar3, thank you for the bits as well. Catalisa, thank you for the bits. Space Pirate McMorgan, thank you for the bits. Guys, appreciate all your continued support. I got to close the door back. So, mom and, so mom and dad can't hear me being loud. I heard you slam the door. You slammed it. Or that was me. Door. That was me. By the way, I think I know why my, why my cat is freaking out because she's acting really paranoid. It's because of the window cleaners. We had people coming in to clean the windows today, and she was yeah. freaked the fuck out about it. So uh, I think I think she's scared of the windows right now because she wants to sit oh on her window God. perch, but there's people and she's scared. Uh, Link highly with additional one thousand. It's just had an image of Panic riding the head of that mecha dragon playing his guitar, <laughs> Mad Max style, so metal. Oh, fucking yeah! Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, dude, we're 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 having a fucking Power Ranger moment sometime in the future. Mark my words. I should take Drop over the, the left leg. Drop the horns in chat if you think that's. Oh. So, Champlain, right. how's it going so far? <laughs> How you liking uh, our little our little crew? I mean, you guys are way, way better at this than I am. So. You're doing fine. You're doing right. fine. You I mean, really you're... overestimate I mean, my I, ability. I also you're... have, like, no, like, vocal talent, so. Well, I mean, you also got kind of thrown into this entire world, and you, ha and you have to experience it from a completely different perspective. Yeah. So, like, it's I, tough. From well, I mean, it should, of all it fucking should... people. It should be actually the best because I was hermited towards the entire story and Ami is hermited towards the entire story. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it should actually work pretty well. I, I was kind of hoping I could, like, at the before we had a break, I would have been attached, like, hold his face and just go, oh my god, I'm Azra Zahar. <laughs> and that is anyway, something only ooh. everyone would get. Um, Everyone's back. We're all good to go. Uh, so. yeah. Um, yeah. Let me take one sip of hot drink before we continue. Time to position my cup back in front of my mouth. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, that's so, good all right. tea. All right, I'm Connor, good. Connor's here, Gaijin's here, Kurt's uh -huh. here, yeah. and Tass here. All right, so you guys head down to the main part of this town uh, where there is just currently a food line, like a cafeteria. Uh, Abby, you would know that a lot of the constructs run the food line. A lot of constructs mm -hmm. were made to grow and prepare food, mm -hmm. um, and they are currently serving up uh, what looks like some sort of meatloaf? You're not sure. Yeah. You don't eat it. You don't need to. Um, well, yeah. As uh, the line continues, you, you get a lot of glances and people are kind of talking and there, there's definitely rumors have begun to spread as people are like, they're outsiders, but apparently Oriara sent them. That doesn't sound right. One of those in not work. I don't know. And they're kind of like all kind of talking with each other. Um, it's very strange for the tall people. Um <laughs> So everybody yeah. but task because everyone is shorter than you there isn't besides a couple of the constructs everyone is shorter than you borky 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 just feels like he's like just surrounded by toddlers it's like yeah. <laughs> just, just, just saying i could take out like eight toddlers in one swing gods i'm a god here <laughs> pink how, how often is borky smacking his head on things by the way oh lots <laughs> like every entrance you're leaning into you're hearing a lot of homer simpson does here Do! like every time like, we look we turn around borky's up like fucking family guy falling on the floor <laughs> like for context if doros was here he would have to fold over himself to fit inside of the, <laughs> the limbo oh. welcome to the small people area uh, as you guys get food which is served to you by a very un like the constructs don't care about you it's the kobolds that have the hang-ups the constructs are just like oh more people cool um rad this older crotchety looking white kobold with a metal jaw like his bottom jaw is like metal uh he's got like a monocle on one eye and like a scar over the other uh and he's wearing like big gloves that are way too big for him and like like a very loose apron. The apron seems to be consistent. Everyone seems to have the apron. He walks and goes, What's this here? What's he gesturing oh. towards? He's gesturing towards you guys. Hi. I'm hungry. 
He watches all the kobolds go, oh, here we go. What are outsiders doing here, huh? We were led in. Aubrey just kind of steps forward. You don't need to yell. Oriara sent them. What was that? <laughs> he just kind of like... She said Oriara sent us! <laughs> Keep your voice down! There's no need to yell! I love this man. <laughs> is this old Rusty? Uh, you don't know. You assume. Oh, I feel it is. <laughs> you watch as he walks up to you, Task, and jabs a th like a finger firmly in the in the kind of the chest point. It was you, wasn't it? Yeah, this is old Rusty. <laughs> I take it you're old Rusty as I grab his hand and I put it down. I ain't a day over eighty. You watch your mouth, boy. I'm only going by what people have called you in this community, sir. Yeah, a bunch of gossiping hens. He watches all the kobolds kind of begin to scatter a little bit with their meals. <laughs> we only just arrived here, but based on the story I was told, you've seen another red scale kobold take one of your devices. Yeah, one of my finest pedal copters. You know how hard it is to make a pedal copter? How hard is it? Really hard. Whoa, you're tall. Holy <laughs> shit. It's really was, hard. Was the kobolds female or male? I don't know. I just saw red going over the horizon with my pedal copter. I'm never going to get a fucking straight answer anymore. You owe me, boy. No, I don't owe you anything, sir. Until you actually give me information that ties to the fact that my sisters might be alive, or unless I find some way to find out that I came from the past or the future to do such a thing to you, that I owe you absolutely nothing. Stop speaking nonsense words. You watch, this, you watch as a kobold looks up. Uh, this one's a female one, too. Uh, she is wearing a huge set of glasses, like 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 lens thicker than like like an inch thick lenses. Mm, these huge glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, she's wearing like these kind of like um, almost like gun harnesses, like around like the arms. But instead, there's books, like just tons of books hanging off of the various different latches on this thing. And she walks up and goes. And we just be nice to the outsiders. We're keeping an eyes on this one this time, right? You're not going to steal any books, any religious artifacts. Though I didn't. Be... I, Tash just like looks over to her. I'm sorry. You can continue. I'm sorry. No, 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 no worries. Uh, she just looks and goes, speaking of which, if you would be so kind, I would very much like that book back. <sighs> Tash just like hands her the book with no problem. For the record, I didn't steal this from you, and this was my only clue of finding this place. We know a human stole it, but it is nice to have it back in our collection. You know that this was the first gift given to us by Oriara. How long ago was that? Oh, ancient years ago. Far beyond our ancestors. Well, our first ancestors, anyway. Hmm. That it was all. stolen? Or? Well, no, it was given to us in the ah. first generation of our ancestors. It was stolen not too long ago, maybe a couple years, give or take. What, what was the dragon that you all worshipped before this happened? Oh, what was his name? Cinder Breath or something. Some dumb dragon name. <laughs> <laughs> Coughs Cinder and Tarask. Cinder Snarl? I think it was Cinder Snarl. Was it Cinder Snarl? <clears throat> Micro, was it Cinder Snarl? You watch this tiny kobold, like, like pathetically ah. tiny. Like, you think it's a child at first, but it's not. It's, it's an adult. Kind of goes, uh, yeah, Cinder Snarl. Oh, okay, yes, yes, Cinder Snarl. That was the name. Uh, don't know too much about him in his history, but he was an asshole. And then he got squished, and now he's gone. So, she kind of just shrugs. I'm sorry, and you are? Oh, uh, my name's Data. I collect data on what we make here. I'm kind of finding it... Okay, it's kind of strange that I'm noticing a pattern that we all nickname ourselves as what we actually do. I'm Task. Task? That actually fits quite well here. <laughs> the task at hand. The task that you must complete to complete the construct. The task to complete the clock. And she kind of like... Begins whoa, to whoa, 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 whoa. You think I'm here to complete a clock? Well, I mean, you're here for some reason to make something. I'm assuming that's what we do here. We make things. No, I'm I'm here hoping that I can find some way to stop a madman who killed my entire family and is now ravaging my second home and making me a pariah. And what are you doing about that now? I have no idea anymore. 
Well, when you're trying to make something, you need to make a blueprint. I would recommend that. Tash just like takes his food. Okay, okay. I'm I'm getting getting angry is going to get me nowhere, even though it's very easy and and very cathartic. Uh, as you guys sit down with your food, there's tables here. There's a lot of like everything's open space. Um, it's very weird. <laughs> like there's no businesses. It's just people working on shit. Um, as you guys sit down and eat, you begin to hear like the sounds of crashing barrels and the sounds of, of footfalls. Uh, as you hear a very familiar voice ring out over the center, I'm naked. And they just hear you watch a log run past you guys, not wearing any clothes. And oh no! Oh my God. God. It's all blurred out, right? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing there, so no. Um, you watch as Gizmo. <laughs> Uh, you watch his gizmo, the cobalt is like just scrambling, chasing after him. He's like, no, 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 not. no. He kind of dog, strips dog, everyone get out of my way. Borky does like a running hug for Log. Uh, Log is running really fast. Borky's and running then, really fast too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he begins to chase Log. You have his clothes, by the way. Log! Log, you're back! That's great, but you're naked. You need to put these on. Otherwise, Borky! you just. Log! Jump into Barking. my arms, you beautiful boy! I can't, I'm naked! I know, take these clothes! Borky balls them up and throws them, and it gets like halfway, I guess. <laughs> yeah. He watches, he goes over, and he puts on his clothes. Borky! 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 Log! Log! I slept! I know, we found you. You was in a big room, and I thought she was dead, but I kept you warm by hugging you to sleep. And then we came, and then I, the guys were going to destroy this door, and I just knocked on it. Anyways, this is not, and now there's dragons. But metal? Whoa, a, I understood I, everything you said. Yeah. Log, come here, we'll bring you up to speed. I, uh, you watch as Log stops and turns and sees you, Object 8. Yeah. And there's like, there's like a just, it's like time stops. Yeah. I, I mean, he looks like it. Ab Abby also looks at him like really shocked, kind of, with the pupils really small. Sex oh, movies just start playing. <laughs> I was expecting Dreamweaver. For a construct, you have a lot of personality. Wow. You look really cool. You watch as Log steps up. Hi, I'm Log. Do you know about Oriara? Yes, she is. What? What? <laughs> 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 I just kind of like falls backwards, and it like goes clunk. <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone please do something with that stupid. <laughs> what? Tash just sits there, just like, oh god, he was meant to be here. <laughs> you know about Oriara and how she's the best ever, and how she made constructs, and how she made us, and how she talks to us, and how she's the best ever, and how she makes constructs, and how her <laughs> is growing, and how she wants to grow even more, and how she's not growing, all... and how she's the best yeah. ever. <laughs> and this is all happening in the middle of the mess well, hall right now. Well, yeah, the log is... says every single thing. Abby just nods sporadically, like more and more. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh God, they're stuck in a loop in stereo. I've, I've, I've never met anybody else who knows about Oriara. I mean, who isn't, like, who I didn't tell about or they didn't know when they were learning. Log, well, everyone here knows Oriara. He, he, like, Abby just looks around and just, like, opens his arms as he pushes himself back up. Well, we're all children of Oriara here. We really are. If I could cry, I would. This is the best day ever of my entire construction, even though I was sleeping through half of it. Do you want to hold my comfort arm? Yes, I do. You watch as Log <laughs> takes your arm. And like, you know when toddlers are friends and they kind of like hold on to each other? Yeah. And then, oh, and then, like, his arm like heats up even though he's a construct and can't feel it. <laughs> Oh. Uh, Borky's got both hands oh, on, that's bo great. Uh, on both on both cheeks, and she's blushing, going, "This is the cutest goddamn thing I've ever, I've ever seen in my life." Panic, yeah. are you saying yes? Greco's, are you saying yes? Yeah, 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 I'm seeing it, Borky. This is super oh, good, yeah. right, guys? Right, guys? And he's motioning to all the other kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> the kobolds are all looking, and they're going like, "Who made that construct? It looks like shit." <laughs> oh. Hey, don't no need to be mean. Fuck Log is a very good boy. The design. That's that's flammable. 
Abby, Abby can hear obviously all of the like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is like, this is common. If they don't need it, mean spirited. They're always like you know trying to improve. So they're always yeah. just like, oh, we could improve this, that, and this other thing. Yeah, it does hurt a little because clearly someone here didn't make them. So like they're not here to defend themselves. So yeah. yeah. But yeah, like Abby looks at him. It's like you look simple in design, but I think I like that. Right? I like it. And I wear clothes like people do. You see, they wear it because they don't want to be seen naked, which is very bad. Aubrey just looks down. I'm not allowed to wear clothes. What? Here, one second. I will make you a clothes. He watches uh, <laughs> walk. Just one like clothes. Runs away. <laughs> clothes. And little, there he goes. You're getting, little, you're getting a little team Iggy there. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, you watch as he comes back with what, what looks like one of the curtains off of one of the doors. <laughs> there you go! He just, like, throws it over top of you. And, like, he, he takes it and just, like, This is perfect, thank you! And he, like, wraps it around his neck. It's like a toga, like a scarf toga kind yeah. of combo. <laughs> Such a Dobby moment. <laughs> and he just stands there, no, like, my... again, like a statue. I feel human! <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that's great! Oh fuck, that was great. See, now what we could do, now that we could do, because we have clothes, is we can stand on the corner of the street and point out other people's clothes and see whether we like them or not. That seems a bit judgmental. Is that okay? It's a common human practice. He nods. He's like, okay, okay. <laughs> See, the more we judge, the more we hate ourselves. This is called an emotion. <laughs> not wrong. Wow. Really not wrong on that one. Wow. Now I truly know what it is to become human, Detroit. <laughs> I heard that it was anagram of racist. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of the campaign today. I mean Goodbye. There's no way to go up from here. Are we gonna go raid? It's like oh, this is really just, something. I mean, just listens and he's like, ah, so if I act like I do, I hate myself. <laughs> it's okay, don't hate yourself. You're good. I see. Say, say, many, 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 many of us wears his clothes to hide our shame. Now, I don't wear a shirt because I'm not ashamed of what I got to show off. And Task has no shame. That's why he doesn't wear any pants. We don't wear this shit. Log sagely nods like, yes. <laughs> Porky Log, once again, the feedback Luke of agreeing with one another. <laughs> although, although some of us wear certain clothes because it's a tactile advantage. What tactile advantage do cloth that hang on stuff? Magic. Uh, oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Is there not magic cloaks that invoke abilities? I mean, well, there are, have... but... Yes, but you don't wear cloaks. It, 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 it doesn't have to be that complicated. So, so case in point. If we, if sometimes, if we want to hide, like, maybe... In a forest, we can wear green. I don't, I don't think they know what that is. But if you can wear it to those points, why do you have to be closed here? Well, sometimes because of our fleshy bodies, sometimes uh, when it's really cold. Uh, oh, this is so awkward. Uh, we have to cover ourselves. At this point, to... there's like three other constructs who are listening in on this. By the way. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. I love, this. I love it. Jesus. This pressure. Pressure. Pressure! No, be, be, because of how we're made, we have to have, uh, I suppose you could call it extra insulation so we don't get too cold. But it, from my knowledge, it's not cold up here. My temperature suggests it is pretty nice and warm. That's actually strange considering we're on the top of a mountain. We are inside of a mountain. I think it's different. Kind of mixture of both. You're outside and inside. Yeah, I was about to say. I thought it was like a mixture of both in and out. Like a like we're a in stop game. aside. Well, you sometimes you don't know where your travels will take you, so it's good to be prepared. Is that you the watch? only reason you wear clothes? Go ahead, money. 
Oh, you watch as two of the constructs now turn to each other and go, I wish for pants. I want the shirts. <laughs> We've started the revolution, boys. <laughs> the revolution has begun. <laughs> you watch as they walk over to one kobold, who you would know as uh, Scrappy. You would know uh, those this is Scrappy. They make the aprons, uh, amongst other things of textile nature. Uh, and you watch as the constructs who tower above above her, kind of look down at her, and you watch as she shoots you a stink eye. Like, oh, fuck, now I gotta make clothes for these guys. I need your clothes, they want your pants boots. Too. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. I, I want a singular sock. <laughs> Just one. What? And Wait, it puts well, it on well, its well, finger. Obby will be a free <laughs> robot, okay? Well, not right now. He has a drape on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! You gave you can't. Master you has can't. presented Abby with a sock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Got him! Yeah. Now you get it. Now you. Get it. Log, Log turns to the rest of you guys and goes, "What are you guys doing here?" Uh, well, one looking for you. Yeah, we <gasps> found Two. you. Hooray! Alabast. Two Alabast got attacked. Oh yeah, I know about that. What? Yeah, good. Uh, nah. Why? Who told you? Oriara. Ah, that while you were right. while you were out of commission. No, I had to take the book out of the city before the attack happened. Wait, she told you before the attack happened. She told you this was gonna happen. Well, I didn't know it was gonna happen, but she said I had to get the book out of the city before something happened. Oh she said it was God. very important. But did she say why? Nope. Uh, that's typical. Oh, this... Why... You know, for someone... For a god who has all the fucking answers and all the designs, they're really fucking stingy about giving out information about how it works. Hey, Task, if we've learned anything about gods is that they're not omnipotent. Oh, clearly fucking not! Yeah, gods kind of suck, actually. <laughs> it's true. I was so far, like... There's only one we liked, right? It was, uh... No, we have a few that we like. They're just really fucking stingy about telling you what the hell no, is going it's just on. Like, Panic's grandfather was, he was the guy with lots of mouths. Well, okay, all right. That's, we're, we're getting into different territory there. It's not, not exactly a god. It's just, let, let, let's, 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 let's get away from me for a minute. No, let's talk about Panic Grim Talk a bit more. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you don't want to know about me, Panic Grimtongue, the greatest bard in all of Alabast. I mean, <clears throat> oh, anyway, mm. have fun. Wow, we have fun. Log, we have fun. Log, dark. Okay, Log. Let's just bring you up to speed. You know the guy I told you about, Darkest, the one who killed my entire family. That's sad. No. <laughs> Good. Wow. <laughs> I hate no. this. I love this. And, and people, no. Well, and people wonder why Task is upset 24 hours a day. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, That's rough, he, buddy. Well, <laughs> he, just, he just had an army of dragons attack Alavast, took away 400 or so people, and is now using them as a bargaining chip so he could get me and another kobold to create Instrock all over again. We he think. watches Log's eyes like open and close and say no says nothing. Basically, the point is is that Alavas is fucked. Everyone thinks that I'm the solution and wants me dead or alive. And now we're up on this mountain, and I don't know what to fucking do. Uh, long story short, we need to talk to Oriara really bad. Really? Yes. You watch as Log Yet. turns to you, uh, Object mm. Eight. Well, as we said before, Oriara doesn't really get spoken to. She speaks to those that she wants to. I mean, I talk to her all the time. That's just me. You watch just like Log kind of like, kind of just like shifting his shoulders, kind of show off a little bit. Like, I'm and he just cool. looks, looks like he's <laughs> keeping <laughs> developed an ego. I mean, it's no big deal. I just talk to Oriara, you know. <laughs> you I, just, I just summon her celestials. It's fine. Oh yeah, I give offerings, I do sermons, I talk to her like oh. every day. Dude, just tell, tell him the story about the guy stopped. on a boat. Yeah, we, we... it was crazy. What about? Oh yeah, that guy. He's gone now. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yes, he is. Log. Uh, did you tell you him did about how you summoned that thing with all the chainsaws and defeat and like got us out of that living forest? Oh yeah, yeah, my friend. I summoned the guy who like had 
a lot of chainsaws, and he was my friend. It was Oriara's <laughs> friend mostly, chainsaw? though. What's, what's, I'm gonna say what was his, what was his uh, name? Object Eight. Roll knowledge religion for me. Nice. <laughs> okay, oh, I was wondering if that was gonna proc. Knowledge. Wait, what? What am I supposed to? Religion. It's, it's just. It's just gonna say religion. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Wait. I need to actually find. I'm blind. Oh, it's it's a uh, fourth one. Uh, it's a one. Natural a one. one. <laughs> this. Okay. Not only is this construct weird in design, but also weird in personality. And he, what the fuck is he saying? <laughs> like you're confused. A lot of this is like what? Yeah. Sounds okay. fake. No, we can <laughs> actually vouch. We can actually vouch for that. Uh, no, we actually did do that. Yeah, log okay. is pretty powerful. Um, you know what I'll do? I will actually uh, minor illusion up uh, the image of the recollection of that celestial. Okay. Uh, I'd say now, Abby, you can roll again. Religion with advantage. Okay. That is a 18. Nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, that is Sigd Saw. S I. Huh? GD saw. S I G saw. Sigid saw. Sigid saw. Like that. Okay. Uh, they are a celestial that kind of helps domain over uh, essentially collecting wood. They are a, a, a celestial that is meant to deal with overgrowth, dealing with overgrowth or cutting wood. Uh -huh. You guys know of them, but you don't utilize wood a whole lot up here. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, um, usually trade for wood. Stop Damn. typing in chat, guys. You guys. Jesus, <laughs> I didn't do that. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> um, they are quite powerful, um, but there are multiples of them. There, there it is mm -hmm. a design of Oriara's will specifically. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So I I know of them. You know of them. You've heard stories and depictions of them, but you've never seen one. Okay. Uh, this this little guy just claimed he summoned one. So, okay. So, I I, I believe it or do I don't? I don't, right? Up to you. It's up to you. Oh God. I mean, it's so you you just oh, wait you just wait. Had, so you had an outsider just show you the exact image of it. Well, I mean, he hasn't seen it. So well, that's fair. So, that's fair. To, to clarify, Sigsaw is the unnamed celestial or it is yeah, a it is. name for a celestial it's a name for a celestial uh okay. kind of like a kind of like a planetar in the same same vein as the planetar gotcha okay okay yeah. i have never seen this before but you sound like you know of it i definitely do yes but i don't know what they look like well congrats now you do because that's literally it hmm he just kind of like, his eyes just kind of shut off for a moment, and it looks like he's thinking. He's just kind of gone for a moment. Oh god, I fucking system rebooted the, <laughs> the, the character. <laughs> uh, Abby, as you're standing there, you hear a voice in your head. Oh. They need a place to sleep. A place to sleep? Yes. For who? The ones that have been up the mountain of repetition. Uh, of, of course. Do you want me to give them a room? Yes. Is, is that all your boltiness? Yes. O okay, I will do as you tell me. Did that just happen in front of us? Oh yeah. Oh good. Ah, uh, excellent. <laughs> he blinks away, it's like, so you summoned one, yes? <laughs> yeah, I totally did. I just like I was like, I want a friend, and then boom, out he came, and we're best friends, totally. And you can just do that. Yeah, you watch as he like puts like nervously puts like both hands on his <laughs> hips. <laughs> he like kind of just like obviously like puts his hands up. D don't do it here. You will freak out a lot. Of oh cobalt. yeah, well I uh yeah I won't I won't do it because I could totally do it right now if I wanted to. Right, and he suddenly becomes like really <laughs> suspicious. I'm rolling an insight. Do it. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna be honest here. That smooth food smells good. I'm gonna go get in line. Borky gets up to go get in line for the food. 19 both ways. All right. You know, I... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, can I, can I, Abby just kind of like looks up. Also, Oriara just spoke to me, I think. 
she said that you guys need a place to rest. Definitely. That would, that would be, that would be nice. Can I try and look for um, sure. Gadget or Gizmo? Uh, yeah, Gadget is currently in the line just watching you guys all interact. She looks haggard. I mean, she's always working all the time, but she's just kind of <laughs> observing, letting things Can take I... their natural course. Well, if Oriara is saying that we need free room and board, I mean, I'm not the one to pass up on that. <laughs> Can I just, can Obby just, like, walk up to Gadget? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she turns yeah. over and she goes, how's it going? It's going well. Uh, well, the uh, log, as they call it, uh, has awakened, as, as you know. You, you, you saw it. <laughs> um, and apparently... Oriara wants us to give them a place to sleep. For free! Uh... <laughs> right. You can always have them sleep in the locker. That sounds very prisony. Well, they did return the book to us. Don't they deserve something better? We don't have anything better. I don't want them sleeping in the workshops. I could roll over on stuff. The locker's fine. It's not that bad. He like, kind of just like turns his head, turns back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put keep him in the headroom. It's quiet in there. She turns back to her food. Are there like any creatures that house in the locker? <laughs> uh, you would know what's in the locker room, but I want to describe it if you guys go look at it. Honestly, sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. You guys make your way through up the different little like conveyor belts and uh, turning chains. You eventually reach a reasonably nice, what could be basically like a storage shed, a long storage shed. Uh, as you open it up, there's a bunch of disenheaded bodies that are just, like, scattered about, hanging on different parts of walls with different notes that are written in Draconic around them. Um, oh. And as you guys move to the back, the back room, which is bigger and has more open space for sleeping, uh, from floor to ceiling, which is actually can fit you, Borky, uh, about probably eight Borky feet tall. Borky was getting food. They left him. <laughs> oh, God, where did everyone go? <laughs> um, from floor to ceiling... Our heads, the like just like hundreds of heads of Good. heads, all open eyed, all mouths open, just staring forward. Good. Why, why are we sleeping in Frederick Fazbear's fucking back room? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be staying in the doll room. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They don't bite, I think. Oh, well, I guess mm. it could be worse. Banana cat face. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I haven't been shoved into a locker since, uh, um, since, Marco. uh, never, because I'm amazing. Yes. Um, uh. Forky just like, excuse me, did you see where the, the other weird looking ones went? Excuse Oh boy, I don't know where I am. Forky! <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Ah. Over here. That's where you are. Get in the locker, nerd. The what? <laughs> Get in the uh, locker with the rest uh, of us. Okay, I gotta be walking sideways through this door, I think. <laughs> All right. Borky, just brace yourself coming in here. Why? Why I gotta break my ah! oh, <laughs> sense <of> screech? <laughs> oh, so so we are literally sleeping here then. Well, this is the only area you can. We have nothing better. I'm sorry. I mean, all things considered, it's probably all gonna be cobalt size, which task I know that's no problem for you, but for the rest of us, uh yeah. Task is able to do a jig on the floor while everyone else is cramped up. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Borky has to crab walk around. I want you to understand that right now. <laughs> the, the ceiling in this room is actually pretty tall because it's meant to accommodate the normal kind of normal with quotation marks, uh, the average size human heighted 
constructs in here, so it's not terrible in terms of its sizing. Object 8, I have a question. Yes? All the kobolds here seem to have, like, some vague knowledge of humans and whatnot, but if they haven't left this... If they haven't left this mountain, where did they... I, I guess Oriara just gave them all the knowledge there was about humans? Well, we do get a little bit of knowledge from outsiders. I mean, we used to let them in until they stole the book from us. It's history that we've kept for ourselves, but we do not know everything. You know, I've kind of been meaning to ask, Abby, do you know anything about the metal predator in the mountain? Mm, not really, I'm sorry. You no, would know fine. them as rejects. They're rejects that were cast. Oh, the re okay, the rejects. God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, mm. when we when Oriara created a few of us constructs, there were mishaps here and there. Interesting. So, she, so she's not as omnipotent as we, everyone believes it to be. If she just makes mistakes like that, yeah. Penny makes Penny makes the duh face. <laughs> <laughs> Gods, I'm telling you. <laughs> Log looks at. Oh, don't say that. That's so mean. <laughs> Greckles is actually. Greckles is a little sad at everyone shit talking gods. <laughs> Greckles, what the fuck, man? You you <laughs> you've seen the you seen the make mistakes on fucking. Source of literally occasions. half of our problems. <laughs> Is this so? Is this above or below game? I don't know anymore, man. I don't know. Like... No, <laughs> this, we're, we're... This, this matters. This matters right now. No, no, it's not above. It's fucking above game. We're not okay. actually getting into this. I'm getting ready to get. I'm getting ready for Tass to go to sleep at this point. Yeah. What time is it, Monty? I mean, it's like uh, lunchtime, isn't it? It's like lunchtime. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> then fuck it. I'm gonna go peruse around town since we have lodging. I want to fucking see what all these folks are about. Um, Monty. Mm -hmm. I I would actually like to offer up uh, my services to any of the kobolds that need help and possibly learn a little bit about the tech and, and maybe get some insider information. All right. Uh, what in particular do you want to help with? Anything that they'll let me at this point, because it's kind of, you know, it's not like I have any expertise. I mean, we did we we had the whole clouch or we had the uh, we had the whole airship thing, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't apply here. Uh, OK, so you guys want to scatter and go take a look at everything? Yeah, or, yeah. Right. Unless someone uh, wants to go around with us. Abby, do you want to <laughs> go with anyone in particular? <clears throat> well, Abby kind of has interest in either log or task, so he doesn't know if they're going together or if they're splitting up. All right, I'm gonna say I'm saying go with task because okay, log yeah. log is just gonna putt around because that's what okay. log does. Okay, you yeah, can't then, then Abby's log. gonna. Then, then Abby's gonna fucking be right behind Task at all points and look okay. really interested. Oh, oh good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Pro Tag Coon. Uh huh. <laughs> um. All right, I'll go in order. Uh, Panic. Where do you want to look around? This is a very uh, big space. Various stuff is being made. It's you know, it's got noise to it and a lot of a lot of movement, action, and people moving around. Panic's gonna look for those uh, people making clocks. Okay, yeah, e easy enough. There's a whole open area with like maybe like a cloth, like kind of leather um, sort of canopy, and they're currently working on like these really ornate and beautiful like grandfather clocks, like absolutely gorgeous in design, and they're all metal, like completely metal, like silver gold trim with like, you know, steel embellishments, glass case front, glass case face, the um the like the arrows, like the clock arrows um are made out of what looks like just like platinum, like polished platinum. As you make your way up, you see that there are three kobolds currently working under this this canopy. Um one that looks old, like just the oldest looking kobold <gasps> you've ever seen. Older than Doros's like mother, like older. <gasps> Um, so he's a walking raisin. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> uh, and then two younger female kobolds. Um, one of which actually has a prosthetic tail that runs up close up the back of the spine uh, and a oh. prosthetic leg. Um, and they, they kind of turn and they look towards you. The other one, the other kobold actually has nothing, no prosthetics at all. 
Uh, greetings. I couldn't help but notice these strange, fascinating clicking devices that you've been constructing. Could you perhaps tell me more about them? Who's there? He watches the old kobold kind of turns and looks. Who's there? Uh, he narrows his hello. eyes. You're a tall one. Uh, mm-hmm. Is that horns? My eyes are deceiving me. Uh, uh, nope, I, a, I've got those too. Is, uh, uh, he kind of turns back and goes back to the clockwork. Uh, uh, Cobalt walks up and goes, uh, yeah, we make clocks. Can we help you? Uh, Weird. yeah, I would... My name, my name is Panic, Panic Grimtongue. Pleasure to meet you. Why are you, um, why are you panicking? No, my name is Panic. Why? What is your name? Oh, my name is Hammer. Why is your name Hammer? Because I use a hammer. And I use Panic. Why? To make people not hurt me. Why would they hurt you? Various reasons. Why? Because I intimidate them. They Why? know that I'm better than them. Why are you better than them? <laughs> oh, because oh, man. I, for <laughs> another another very many reasons, and I I'm glad you asked. <laughs> this is Mindy and Buttons. <laughs> yeah, she seems very inquisitive, like for sure. So, what reasons? Well, you see, uh, I am descended from a very long line of musicians, very, very talented musicians with a lot of very important uh, celestial ascara blood running in our veins. And we come from far and wide to entertain and help save the world at large. Huh. And some, some people would not uh, want me to do those things. And so... I have to I have to make things panic in order for them to go away and uh leave us alone. I understand. She nods solemnly like yes. I've grasped. Great. It. You said Would you be willing to po Yes. Like instruments? Absolutely. We have someone who makes instruments here. Really? Mhm. Mm that is interesting. What is their name? Plex. Plex. Okay. I'll have to go pay them a visit at some point. Uh, are you willing to part with some of these clocks? Why? <laughs> oh, no! Why not? They're perfect in design. An extension of Oriara's will. Why would we give them away? Maybe to share it. <sighs> Share? share yes you can share the goodwill and spread the magnificent word of oriara far and wide roll a persuasion check persuasion uh-oh oh, soft 20. Mm. okay grandfather you watch as she rushes over to the local oh. you begin to hear them speak in draconic which you don't understand uh, and eventually she runs back and goes, you said you'll spread the word of Oriara's will through the art of our beautiful clock? Absolutely. Very well. Then we shall do trade for it. Okay. Is there anything in particular you need? Mm, what do you have? <laughs> well, I have these tender little nuggets of gold. You know what gold is good for? Oh, no. <laughs> you watch as she looks at you and, like, kind of gives you, like, the, you know that face of those people, like, holding the drinks and they're, like, kind of giving, like, the side glance? Like, look at this asshole. She kind of gives you that look, like... Gold, really? Well, I noticed that you've captured these... the lightning in all of these bottles and you hung them up on the ceiling so you can make some light. And I've heard that gold is a very... Good conductor of uh, lightning. She places a hand on the grandfather clock. Goes, There's more gold in this thing than you have in your hands right now. Damn! Yeah, cool. You better than that. She kind of crosses her arm. Savage. Oh, yeah? I'll pull out a platinum piece. She what about this, baby? 
Uh, hello, the hands oh. are made out of that. Wow, this thing is fucking expensive. Hang on. <laughs> man. Panic, man. This is a nice clock. Like, this is not, like, <laughs> your antique you get at, like, an antique shop. This is, like, a fully metal, like, in someone's mansion level of grandfather clock. Hmm. I don't think they'd want a boat. <laughs> Shit. Hmm. Meanwhile, I'll let you look around. Meanwhile, okay. <laughs> Freckles. Sure. Uh, as you're kind of perusing around, a lot of people are generally like, don't bother me, don't touch, like, don't look at me kind of attitude. Mm -hmm. um, as as you kind of make your way, you hear a voice call out to you. I know what your friend did. Oh, is this? Is this old Rusty? Yeah, you see old Rusty currently kind of in the corner, this <laughs> darkened corner, which notably is like kind of in a thinner part of the mountainside. Because there's an actual, like, like almost like a plank or a drop-off point through this little hole in the cave wall. Uh, notably, there's a bunch of things hanging from the ceiling. You see various different devices of uh, varying huh. degrees that are just kind of hanging by a chain off of the ceiling. And he, you can see him currently, like, polishing some sort of long piece of wood, you assume, of some sort. Uh, as he kind of just narrow eyes without taking his eyes off, and he just kind of, like, sucks in a breath and... You do a scrunchy up face, looks towards you. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know how hard it is to make a pedal copter, boy? I would imagine, sir, it would be very difficult. The materials are one thing, but the balance is everything. Well, tell me then, how does one make a pedal copter? <laughs> <laughs> It'll take a lifetime for you to figure that one out, boy. Bird. Boy, bird. Hey, 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 hey listen, listen. I'm not here to start an argument. I'm not here to master the craft. I know there's no time in the day for that, but color me curious. A fully rotating propeller manned by leg power. If you lean too far one way or the other, you'll fall right off and plummet to your death. That happened once before. That makes sense. <laughs> how do you keep how do you keep someone in the air though, just by pedaling? Well, it's called aerodynamics. I'm listening. Allow me to grab my display. You watch, he just reaches <laughs> over and grabs a blackboard and he gets, like, you can't even make heads or tails of these different formulas. You're like, oh, shit. As Rusty begins to fully detail, and he's just like, if you don't have the counter bar at least 3.2 inches forward, you will die. If you don't have the back pedal at least at 75 degree angle, you will uh -huh. die. If you don't have a parachuting system mm -hmm. that properly releases once the air pressure gets to 3.75 DPI, <laughs> he just keeps mm -hmm. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like DPI. Oh, uh, honestly, money into Photoshop now. <laughs> Monty, I, I would, I would love. Like, I assume this is just a long conversation. I do want to work in since he's talking about flying machines. I want to work in the experience that I had working in the gnome's uh, flying ship. Okay, go ahead and roll a charisma check with advantage. Oh boy, I'm not good at those. Eleven. <laughs> Gnome? What's a gnome? Uh, a, a gnome, uh, think of a human, but much, much smaller and much more witty. You outsiders keep making things up. But oh. the technology does sound intriguing. An engine made of the heart of Nerasmin, huh? That's the idea. That's apparently how it kept it afloat. But there are all different kinds of mechanisms of making it go forward, backward. It was interesting, to say the least. Hmm. Probably big and clunky, though, I'd imagine. Well, it wasn't the most elegant thing that there is, but it was definitely <sighs> something that I've never seen before. Mm, nah. oh. Interesting. Anyway, I mean, back to my explanation. Once oh. you have the seat in place, you want to make sure it sinks at least three feet down at the point of entry. And uh, then once you down. take off the side, you have to let it free fall. But if you turn in any degree, it just keeps going. Like, uh, turning, not... turning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Borky, 
What are you doing? <laughs> what a time. Borky's trying to find a local silver salesman. <laughs> okay. Easy mm. enough. You currently see probably the buffest kobolds you can find here. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, his arm is like, bigger than his torso or something. Protein. <laughs> sure. Uh, currently picking through what looks like the different various parts of scrap metal. They're parting it between... Um, actually, you have to go underground for this. You, have, you find your way underground, uh, which is just a whole mining shaft. Um, and you find that they are just kind of sorting through silver, gold, platinum, uh, copper, um, and other such materials. <laughs> and kind of like removing the rock and, and you know starting to load the rock into different buckets. Uh, as you're down there, you do find one kobold who uh, actually doesn't have horns. Uh, instead, he's actually got like a metal fin that he's uh, like bolted to him uh, that runs oh, wow. down his entire back and like various different, you know, like you know, you know, like chain link kind of. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh, kind of runs down in various different panels down his back, all the way to his tail. Um, and he's big. He's he's you know he's still kobold size, but he he looks like if he were to punch you, it would hurt. Uh, oh, his damn. arms are crossed, and he's just got, like, a pile of silver. Like, a pile of silver almost, like, your height. And he kind of narrows his eyes and looks at you and he's like, you want a boy silver? Uh, yes. Uh, as we was, we was coming up the mountain, and uh, I was supposed to get some shiny silver. I believe that's what it was required of me. Uh, but then we can, uh, it's, it's fine. You had to be there to understand it. Yeah, I'm just looking for some silver here. So, like, I mean, you guys got a lot of it, but I'm going to assume you got, you need it all, right? Yeah. Okay, so, like, what could I give you so I could have some? Uh, you got any leather or canvas? Oh, um, do I got any leather? Oh my god, and he, Borky takes off his his leather shoulder pad. Oh, okay. You watch as he takes it, and he looks at it, and goes, not this, untreated, and he kind of hands it back to you. Something I can oh, work with. Oh, something you can work with? Oh, raw I, material for raw material, pal, come on. Oh, that's Task. Task has everything. He's the one who just, he's knife crazy. He's a dead body, just starts cutting it up. Was that that red guy making a scene at the canteen today? Yeah, she does that a lot. I want to apologize for him. <sighs> Don't apologize for him. But yeah, no, it's yeah. Uh, okay, so you want leather goods? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any leather goods. I'm looking at my character sheet right now, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, I got, I got f all. All right. Um. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I want to check it. Keepers, okay, that. Uh, yeah, I do not. Borky doesn't have anything to offer him. Okay. All right. Uh, task and object eight. Mm -hmm. uh, as you guys are walking, uh, and kind of making your way through. But weirdly enough, a lot of people don't really turn their heads as much as towards Tass. The color <clears> definitely <throat> throws people off. Like the like you people who have seen him are just kind of like, oh, it's that red guy. Like just kind of looking, kind of like, huh, how weird. Um, Hello, it's me. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, object eight. As you're walking and you guys are kind of looking at the various different things that are being built here, you hear a voice again. Oh, okay. Um, he just kind of stands there, looks up at the sky. <laughs> object Tass. eight. Yes, your boltiness. Take him back to the hangar. W why so? It must be so. Take him back to the hangar. Back to that creation. Get inside. The code is 35573. <laughs> Tass turns around and just sees that Abby just like stands still. 35573. Five, I beg your pardon. What? Quietly and silently. <clears throat> three five five seven three. <laughs> Is oh. that it? Take him there. Let no one else know. Not even his companions. Just him. Understand? But what about the kobolds? They must not know. Yes, your boltiness. What did she tell you this time? He just kind of like whips his head, like it does like a creaking noise. Uh, 
I need to show you something. Very well. It's not like I have anything else to do at the moment. Okay, he just like holds out his arm. Do you want to take my comfort arm? I will be quite all right walking by myself, thank you. He puts the hand back down and then just like kind of just stares and then turns around. Follow me. And he starts walking towards where they've been before. Okay. And you guys make your way to that ladder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys make your way climbing up that ladder. Panic, you are going through your hole, I'm assuming. the, the Yeah. <laughs> Let me just go through my hole here. <laughs> yeah. right. I, need to, I need to get in your hole. <laughs> Do you oh, have yeah, any leather go. goods? I need you it for un, silver. You, un, you unfold the portable hole. <laughs> yeah. Uh so what what sort of materials would you be looking for? And uh yeah, I'll just... leathery goods. Oh, not not you. Also, hi Borky. Uh oh, I don't hi, think hi. I have hey. Don't think I have any leather, unfortunately. Uh, oh. uh I have a uh I have a, a a book about Lavrosia. I have a couple songbooks. Uh some tobacco. You like tobacco? Where's it she said he said tobacco? He watches the old oh. cobalt turns on. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> Grandpa. Granddaddy's vice. He he kinda like as he kinda gets off the, the stool he's been working on, he is hunched over like <laughs> He is Ooh. so hunched, like his his like his nose points like forward, but it like goes <laughs> past his chest. Like it's like curled over completely as he comes hobbling up with a cane. Oh my god! Cane. Did you say tobacco, young man? Ah, uh, well, yes, I certainly did, and, and uh, just just idly, casually, just you know, <laughs> I heard heard you guys like some music, so I hope you don't mind. I'll just start playing some music, you know, uh, enthralling performance. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> do I have to make a wisdom saving throw? Yep, sure do. All right. And they don't know either, do they? Nope. Ooh. Grandpa got a natural twenty, but the the grandchild got a natural one. Ah, and charm. <laughs> All right. Uh, the two girls are like a bit fawny, you know. Like they're they're kind of like whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. and some of the other workers around are kind of turning and looking. Um, they're not they're distracted clearly, but they definitely are, they're kind of hearing you know listening to the radio when you're working on something. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. I I'm, bet you've never seen a number like this guitar right here. Definitely it makes makes the melodies of of Oriara just sing through the air. Definitely. You, you watch as the uh, old kobold kind of walks up, and he uh, he kind of places a palm, like a hand, on the uh, on the guitar, and goes, "This was not made by mortal hands." How'd you know? I can tell. These two materials don't blend very well, and these strings. He kind of plucks one of the strings. These are no metal I know of. They almost seem as if like mithril. <sighs> Wait, this is mithril? And this. You watch as he twists one of the uh, little pegs at the top, and you watch as it re-straightens. Completely magical by nature. Almost has a mind of its own. Fascinating. Hmm. It's more like ithril. <laughs> you hear no, a voice. Haha, <laughs> ayo. <laughs> oh, 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 mind high-five ith. <laughs> Ow, my fucking cortex. <laughs> We'll give you the clock for this. For the guitar? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. This is a pretty valuable guitar. What else do you have? You were saying something about boobs and then tobacco. Uh, I have to. What? I have some tobacco. I, I can throw in. I can throw in about a month's worth of tobacco. The guitar. Uh. Uh, you want some ball bearings? I got some of these. <laughs> it was it was books, Grandpa. Oh, books. Sorry. <laughs> books. I don't have any boobs, and neither does anybody else here, I think. He watches the two, the two go balls are kind of like tilt their heads. Oh. Turn back. Ah, these play by, 
It's played by different rules. No, they do okay. not have they do not have chests. They are they're reptilian, unfortunately. That's what I thought. That's what I world. thought. Yeah. <laughs> I was um, wondering why he knew what they were. <laughs> they've met humans, so they probably learned. Hmm. All fall before the power of a good tid. <laughs> anyway. Uh <laughs> Keep going, Sen. The books, the tobacco, and maybe a bit more, and we'll trade for that. The guitar, mm, you hold on to that. That doesn't seem like our venture. What else do you got? Ah, uh, so be it. This is pretty valuable, as you said. Any raw materials? I have ball bearings. I have nah. uh, these these very nice trail rations. The good salty snack for whenever you're on your break time. You don't have to get in line and... Son, I lost my sense of taste years ago. Fair enough. His tongue is metal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I have this flute. Yeah, it's pretty garbage. Mm. <laughs> it's a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have this really, really great, uh, really fine, pristine longsword that I got off of the body of a very bad dragonborn commander. Yeah. There's some, some evil dragons. Red that's bastard. Only good for scrap metal. That that's look at the look at the balancing on. That's just disgraceful. I have this wonderful work of of modern art. This lovely hand crossbow. Get this. You can hold it in one hand. What do you take me for? Someone I've just met in a culture that I don't understand. That's fair, son, but I'm brighter than you think. I know what a hand crossbow is. And now I know that you know what a hand... Tell you what. So, I, I could just read off. The rest of the things I have, I have a lantern, I have circadian gildan, a key, five ball bearings, <laughs> some tattoos, a flute, ten matches. You like matches? Fire <laughs> bad. A book about a book about tieflings, some crossbow bolts, a potion of poison resistance. <laughs> a yeah, boat? You, you want a boat, right? What's <laughs> a boat? Um, he wants all the books that you have. Okay. The tobacco, and he wants, um, yeah, he wants all the books that you have in the tobacco. And he's willing to give you not the really nice grandfather clock, but, like, a smaller, okay one. That's what I was looking for, is the smaller one, anyway. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, he can easily get you. It's like a wall-mounted one. You, you mount it on the wall. It's like, um, <laughs> like a box you kind of mount to the wall, and it's, it's about... Maybe like a foot and a half tall, and it's like maybe like half a foot wide. It's okay, cute. so I give I give him the book of Lavrosia, the costume book, the Eastern Isles songbook, and the book of Lavrosia. You bastard. Okay. And all of my tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all uh, tobacco is gone. He he shit. stuffs that in like a secret chest and locks it away when you give I'm him that tobacco. I'm gonna be Jonesin. <laughs> He's gonna have a good time. Um, Greckles, you're like falling asleep at this point. I'd like to at least pretend to pay attention. It's hard, dude. It's so hard. Constitution saving throw. <laughs> like, but, but real, okay, Monty, real talk. Does anything particularly make sense? Any sort of information? No. Whatsoever? Okay. It's like, it's like all, like if someone literally took a, like a, like a literal report on like an airplane repair and just Monty, he asked if you wanted to, you. to know about Homestuck. Yeah. Monty, Monty, this is a super old man. They like to ramble and trail off to other things. I didn't know if that was ever going to happen. No, he never does. This is his yeah, only uh, thing he does. He, he, he didn't really talk about <laughs> how things should be like they used to be. <laughs> But, which is always, but, which is always the yes. scariest direction a conversation can but, take. What you do see is you do see cobalts flying in on these things. Cool. That does catch your attention. They are definitely meant for cobalts, uh, based off of the over the top, like like you have to be this weight or you'll die. Like there's a lot of you will die if you don't do this one thing, mm -hmm. like fifty bajillion times. Um, there are some that are flying in with, like, wood strapped to these things. Huh. And they're kind of unloading it. 
and like kind of looking at you and like giving you this like sad like oh you're in for it kind of look before they pick up their stuff and leave <laughs> uh there is two of them uh they get parked uh but notably there is a spot where one's <sighs> missing uh clearly the one that got stolen uh eventually he, he one of his companions comes up and he's just like yeah, yeah, we need you to do this one thing and he's like ah I've talked enough! Go home! He kind of waves his hand towards you, Greckles, and bitterly turns away and, and shoves the blackboard away and goes back to work. Well, it was worth a shot. Uh, task. You and Object 8 at mm -hmm. this point have fully climbed up the ladder. It's been a while. <clears throat> uh, and at this point, the sun is sinking down in the sky as you guys make your way up back to the hangar. Uh, Object 8 and Task, I need you guys to roll stealth checks for me. Okay. Whoa, hold the, the Task would just be like, wait, what are we doing? What? Why? 20, soft 20. All right. 18. Okay. All right. Uh, despite being made of metal and uh, object eight is very quiet. You guys, as two kobolds exit the hangar like flaps, you guys just slip inside at this point. Most of the kobolds are leaving at the moment. There's just people kind of like who are finishing up like some final sort of like measurements and things like that. Notably, the uh, suspense kind of like scaffolding that kind of leads to the back end of, the, of this dragon construct is open, uh, and there's no one there at the moment. As you guys stealthily make your way forward, Tash just like kind of like mutters to con uh, to Object Eight. So wait, I'm confused. Why are we sneaking in here? This seems like not a good idea for being an outsider. Um. Abby just kind of like stays silent for a moment, probably more focused at the task at hand, but he responds after a moment. Well, Oriara told me to take you here. And she gave me a set of numbers. I am not sure, but I listened to her anyways. And she instructed you to take me here without anyone else's notice. Yes, she made that quite clear. Your friends are not allowed to know. None of the kobolds are. I'm sorry if this seems weird. I am just as confused as you are. All right, well, then if something goes horridly, horridly wrong, I'm going to need you to tell everyone that Oriara said I was supposed to break rules. <laughs> That's the only way this works, Object 8. <laughs> he just kind of like doesn't respond. I'm sorry. Do you dislike me? Task like kind of actually takes a back at that and then looks down at himself. Looks back at Object Eight. No, I don't dislike you. I don't dislike anyone who I raise my voice to, unless it is very much warranted. I am just very scared and afraid that. With what time I'm spending, it's not enough. And with what I'm doing on my mission, I've spent 10 years finding this person who did all of this. And, I, and the fact that he's just ripping away my second home again, I don't know what to feel anymore. I'll be just watch. Kind of, oh, okay. You watch, you watch Object uh, 8 as you guys are kind of like hiding behind some barrels. Uh, the last cobalt leaves. Uh, kind of like locking up and then leaves the hangar and closes the flap behind them. Nothing's really like locked, locked. It's mostly just to keep people from touching things they shouldn't, mm -hmm. but uh, they sometimes like put stuff away just so they can't be used anymore, like a key or something like that. Okay. Is there like a clear entrance that I know oh, yeah. about? There's like a hanging like uh, metal and, and rope thing that kind of leads into the entrance of this uh, construct dragon, essentially, like the, the entryway into the cockpit of the dragon. Okay. Uh, now I just start going that way and uh, look at Tass to come and follow. And All right. he, he's like really a little bit unsure on what to say. And he goes, Even the kobolds speak of fear and sadness. And as you might have noticed, I offer my comfort arm to help, but I am unsure of what it feels like. I just know that eventually that feeling goes away the more braver you become. I don't know what that feels like, but I can imagine it's horrible. And he just like starts going inside and looking at he can follow him. 
As you enter inside, you see various different spots within this metal dragon that are clearly spaces for people to man particular limbs. Like there's a part for like the wings, there's a part for like the front claws. Uh, as you guys make your way through, you see that on either side are just giant glass, almost like canisters or like Tesla tubes or something. You're not sure it's empty uh, as you guys make your way into the front where you see a huge control panel. Uh, kind of brings you back to the horrid memories of the crab mech underwater. Um, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but uh, much more refined. The buttons are, you know, a little... They're still vague. You don't know exactly what they do, but they're clearly labeled. And notably... Uh, there is a set of two almost like um, shift gears that have been mm -hmm. uh, glass cases. There's a glass case over top, and there is a padlock with a code on the side, uh, a five-digit code on the side of it. What was that number you said before? He, he thinks for a moment. Three, five, five, seven, three. I will punch that in. Okay, you kind of flip the lock, and it opens up and you lift off the glass case and just kind of set it gently on the ground. Uh, and then there are two two handlebars there. Definitely cobalt size for sure. Okay, we're here now. Am I supposed to operate these? Object 8 just kind of... Obby looks, like, looks around and goes like, I don't know. Try it? Alright, keep watch then. Let me try. Uh... Task will attempt to operate the machine, or okay. at least attempt to do so. As you take out your hands and you touch the handles and you begin to breathe, uh, Object 8, Task doesn't see this as he looks forward, but as you look back, those empty canisters with each breath Task takes fill up with light and dim, oh. and then fill up with light and dim again. And the machine begins to stir a humming noise as the wings begin to move and the body begins to change and shift, you begin to hear a loud groaning noise above, which you would recognize as what holds this thing in the hangar. Oh. As it comes loose. Ah! Oh, God. Ah! Ah! I would like both Task and uh, Abby to make vehicle checks. And for this, it's gonna be uh, uh, Abby just a straight wisdom check. Task, okay. it would be your vehicle check. That I you have, have vehicle. Wait, wisdom oh, is. God. Wait, wisdom. Yes, Saving wisdom. throw. Just, just a check. Oh no, no, no! Go. On the left oh. of that, there's a list of under intelligence. The where it says wisdom. Oh, right. on that word. I'm stupid. Sorry, I forgot. No, 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 I haven't been like fine. five million years. Wait, it's not working. Hold on. Got it. There you go. Whoa. 22. Okay, wow. Yeah. Shit. 22, 22, 22. Tass, the moment this thing starts to turn, you're like, oh shit, and you try to reach your hands off of it, but you can't, and you just kind of launch it forward. Abby, you know exactly what to do. You run to one side, and you grab one of the wings, and you start, like, bringing down the dial to make the wings yeah. flap as this thing crashes through the hangar. The oh. rest of you guys in the town huh? look up as you see the giant metal dragon burst out of the hangar and begin to fall down to crush the people below but as it's about to reach the ground i'll be you pull really taut and the wings just unfurl and catch and then soar above the rest of the kobolds who are at this point are all dropping what they're doing and panicking all of a sudden you guys hear us a fate <laughs> <laughs> uh task i need you to make a wisdom saving throw with disadvantage for me oh oh, oh good yeah wonderful here we go hey that's not bad Okay, as you're as you're flying, you kind of are soaring above everybody. You look down. You can see down through the cockpit, which is glass. Um, you your your breath hitches, and you manage to keep yourself aloft as you bring this dragon into a full collide into the ground. Sparks erupt from it as it crashes to the ground. You don't crush anybody, but it collides near the base of the mountain where you guys had entered into this area. Uh, so right in that scrapyard, it crashes. There's sparks flying, part of the wing kind of rips as you guys catch your breath. And the construct lies still on the ground, no longer moving anymore. Abby, you hear a voice back in your head. Okay. Failure is the first step to success. He has not learned, for the future has not showed him. He will be shown. Bring him to Robald. Bring him to me. And that is where we're going to end the session for today. Oh! Oh!
I want to believe oh. that that the, like we all saw this happening, and like before he was walking down a ladder. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's bad. There's like a little oh, yeah. there's like a little glass hatch that you just see tasks fucking pressed against the window. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was bumpy. You guys were bounced around in there. You're not oh. hurt, but. Yeah. All right. Bye, Austin. Alrighty. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Shem, right. Shempai, this is where we stop our recording. So you just want to stop your recording? Oh, okay. All right. Bye. And then, and then um, say. So, so I don't mean to take from the chat, but someone went, Tasca Flone. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> What episode is this? Right. Is this episode 126? 126. Yeah. Oh, I almost said there's an OOG. That would have been bad. That would have been super bad. Ooh, more like an OOF. What are we saving it as? Just uh, one. Just do uh, object eight, and then okay. um, don't put the dash in because it gets yeah. upset about that. But do object eight, and then one twenty, one twenty six for our audio guy, whose name is Austin, which is why we say hello Austin and bye Austin to him whenever object we're done recording. Eight. What? What was it? Object one, eight. One two one, six. One two six. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> and then just as a WAV file. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. We'll we'll get okay. you through the the audio process and submitting it and stuff. Okay. Uh, after the fact, but in the meantime, Kurt. Yeah, what's up? Oh, right, me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we are joined by the wonderful Shanpai. Shanpai, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on YouTube and on Twitter at Arrowviro, and uh, on oh god, what else do I have? Twitter <laughs> <Favorite laughs> streams. <laughs> Oh yeah, my uh, stream twitch.tv slash empire. What do you think? Okay, awesome. What kind uh, of things I'm... can they see on there? Okay, so on my Twitter you can find a, a lot of art. Uh, I am an artist myself. Uh, on my YouTube I do a lot of highlights of the games that I play, and on my Twitch I play. I'm a variety streamer, um, but one of my main games is currently Final Fantasy XIV, Animal Crossing, and Persona Five, which I'm currently playing through. Uh, I actually do not have a schedule. I stream very randomly. Uh, that might change in the future, though, but to I'm pretty much streaming Persona 5 tomorrow, and it's going to be pretty fun. Shenpai also has a webtoon. No, that I haven't updated in a while because it's been real busy. <laughs> 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 <Called> out, man. <laughs> just, I'm, I literally just moved, and everything's a bit hectic. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But yeah, oh. thank you for letting me join. Welcome I'm... to the welcome to the party, Object Eight. Oh, like, hell yeah! Connor Connor's prediction was completely wrong. Yeah. Yep. There well, was. I mean, if I had taken Voxer, it would have been really awkward. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm definitely. I, I definitely it... like Obby. I think Obby's <clears throat> great. I just hope I can be a little bit more confident with him because I'm not really getting getting his personality through all that well. But I said it. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The first session of a game as a player is the hardest. Yeah, because yeah, you're still yeah, yeah. Figuring shit out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was so sorry for like being so stuttery. Again, it's like you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> hey, Zeno, where can they find you aside from in a place of pure terror slash rage? <laughs> <laughs> you can find me over at God. It's so fucking the 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 feeling of like being like I have to be this raging asshole character, and I'm just like God. I hope they they understand it's a character versus the the actor thing. Uh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash zito, uh, ever ingot almanac on Patreon and CZ backlash on Twitter. Um, for streams, it's gonna be a fuck ton of indie games. Might play Remnant. Might play uh. Uh, I know Bloodstain got a randomizer update, so I'm really actually kind of looking forward to checking that out. Uh, apart from those, I am working on mods for Rivals of Aether, which is funny animal punch people, but Smash Brothers. Uh, I am currently working on, like, I think four characters now, because I made a platypus and I don't know how to stop myself. Uh, you can also, for my homebrew stuff, uh... We are, I'm working on Fawn, and every time I do, Theros kind of, like, shows up on Twitter, and I fucking just hate myself afterwards. But we move on, and Fawn's will be next. Okay, then. Gaijin Goomba, where can I find you? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, no H, because jokes! 
A lot of things been happening. I've got a brand new video that just came out uh, breaking down the 1,000-year-old inspiration that created Tom Nook and Red's rivalry over on my YouTube channel. The big announcement that I have, though, uh, for those of you that missed it, my very first piece of homebrew, um, my uh, my playable Yokai Race of the Tanuki is live. Let me slap that in chat a little bit here. Um, it, it, it's, uh, it was built with um the tech balance sorry i'm fading really fast uh thank you zito for for being my senpai in that in that whole ordeal um uh so it has that it has a crap ton of folklore just just as as fluff and to help you build character like give you character ideas there is also a brand new homebrew spell mundane uh polymorph which is literally prop hunt the spell uh it's 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 way more goofy you gotta check it out um this is the first and hopefully a long line of different folklore probably with a, a big emphasis on yokai playable races it's something a lot of people have been pestering me about pestering zito about so i'm finally making it happen so yeah please go check that out uh i did want to say thank you guys because it's already silver and i think it's still at the number nine slot for under five bucks so uh, you guys, Zito and uh, uh, Willy Boo, all you guys helped me out with that. So thank you so much. The guy who made the Klon book. Yeah. Distortion Dabolu. Where can they find you, man? Hey, that's me. You can find me on Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Distortion Devil, where when I'm not shit posting, I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tomorrow I will also be joining Gim Gim Gam over on on the Cheru. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what? What? I was just I was just gonna say if you want to see it's my so right... awkward. Did you guys kiss or something? Like Christ? Yeah, no, it's just look, just a little smooch. If you guys, I don't know, you got to death with his nut sack, and then I just it, haven't been able to look him in the eye since. It's it's fine. If you guys want to see this race in action, I am playing it over at Colonel Cheru's channel she is one of the mods here she has uh, her own D, D game that we play every thursday at 6 p.m u.s central connor's imagine if connor and i switched character roles that's kind of what it is and it's amazing <laughs> damn it's very intense sorry continue i'm sorry yeah you know, friday's uh friday fun house where i play a lot of fun games with my friends like jackbox and tabletop simulator stuff like that uh saturday we're gonna be playing some bayonetta and Sunday, we're going to make some Devil May Cry 5 mods. <clears throat> All righty. Monty, our DM extraordinaire, Hi. where can they find you? You can find me at Monty Goo on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Blue, where tomorrow, hopefully, should be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I want to try and finish up that game and then move on to uh, other games. I'm probably going to do some grinding tonight, I think, when I go to bed, uh, just with the Makuhita Dojo. Uh, and then uh, I'm hoping to beat the game. Not next session, but hopefully within the next couple weeks. I've been pretty busy. And then Sunday, we're doing Pokemon XE Gale of Darkness, which has been a lot of fun. Uh, we're at the, the final part of the game, but don't be mistaken. The final part of the game takes forever to go through. It's like half of the game. Um, so, yeah, definitely check that out. Um. You can find me at twitch.tv slash takahata101. Today, I finished Remnant uh, from the Ashes, which was a lot of fun. Big shout out to Arkov and uh, Princess Boots for helping me out with that. But uh, tomorrow, we got Multiverse Nexus Wrestling, our community-driven wrestling show. And, oh boy, it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of big matches, and I'm very jazzed about what's going to happen as well. Coming up uh, this weekend and next week, we're trying a new game. I think of, uh, I'm think of figuring out what I'm going to play. We'll find out later, though. And that's it for me. Is there anything else we would like to plug before uh, we jump into check bits? Out the Discord. If you guys haven't checked out the Unexpectables Discord, we're running a contest right now, so definitely check that out. That's a fan-run contest. Mm -hmm. um, so details are there. I don't know the details, but the details are there. So go check it out and have a lot of fun. Uh, also, I do. Oh, oh go, go, ahead. No, go, go ahead. ahead. I was gonna say um, I know who. I think I know who we should raid because I think it's a mutual friend between all of us, including. Uh, before Shenzai. we go into before we go into that, because we don't want to spoil oh, yeah, who bits, that bits, is. Bits, bits, bits. We gotta go to the bits here. I love you, Lorelai51 uh, with a thousand oh, wait, bits. Zito, oh. Zito, Zito wanted to say something first, though. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell everyone that, uh, uh, you have, uh, 48 hours to, uh, assist. Like, like anything that we have made on DMs Guild that you purchase, we get 100% of the revenue for the next two days because it's a pay it forward, uh, situation. Yeah. So it would super help, especially Gaijin, who just put out his new book. 
it would super help us if uh, if you were able to purchase anything within the next 48 hours because we get all the benefits instead of the 50% cut that we usually and, get. And please comment and rate. It helps so much. Yeah, it stupidly helps. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, I would like to thank a lovely Lorelai51 with a thousand bits. Okay, you did not kill yourself or anyone else. Not bad for the first flight of the experimental aircraft. Now we just need to rebuild it from the wreckage. Yeah! A thousand bits from lovely Lorelai51. Blackfoot Ferret with elite bits. Gaijin's new mundane transformation belt gives kids everywhere the power of Gmod prop hunt. Everyone run! Elite oh bits. From Blackwood Fair at 1,337 beds. Duvio, Hyrule Gaddix, Panda Assassin, 1, 2, 3, Full Metal Death, the Foxophonist, Neo Ander, MCD 71, uh, Salute, Headshot, Salute, and Sloth. Thank you all so much for the subs. Link Highly with a thousand beds. I just had the image of a panic riding the head of that Mecha Dragon. Oh, we read that one. But Sloth, thank you for the five subs gifted to the committee. Just the Forgotten. Thank you so much for the 500 subs. Love of the Kobolds went to praising the dragon to Oriara. Sat on him. Now they praise her. Yeah. Yeah, bless up. Uh, Dragon Sun, thanks so much for the 500 bits. Take my last bits. Loves watching you all, but have been catching up on the backlog. Number 92. Hashtag. Well, thank you so much, dude. Uh, Manic Skirker with the 500 bits. App title suggestion. Get in the locker room talk. <laughs> I will also like to thank Kane Time for the 900 bits. I, uh, they have brought the greatest evil to these people's pants. Everyone knows pants are evil, and all <laughs> who wear them are as such. It's not untrue. And I would like to thank Justin the Forgotten and also involves for the bits as well. So who are we rating? Uh, I was thinking Joe Cat, because that's how I met Shempai. Oh, he's he's right right now. Is he streaming yeah, right now? Is he? Well, yep. showing up live for me. Streaming. I will check. Not a duty. I oh, no, he's not. He's actually no, not. Good catch, good catch. Oh. Uh, Biako 071 with a thousand bits. It's time task. Get me, Eva. For the thousand bits. Um, Stop it, that jerk. Uh, I, oh, my, I know. Friend, my friend Draco is streaming, but I don't know if anyone else has any. Actually, Shenpai, I, it's your first session. Do you have any idea of who you would like to raid? Unfortunately, most of my friends are not online. Oh, <laughs> no <laughs> suggestion! I would yeah. be live. Uh, I would suggest Cheru. I don't know okay. if the last time we raided her, and she's doing really cute art of uh, her campaign, so. All right, sure. We'll raid Cheru. All righty. We'll show 100 bits on the road. Lord Rider, full metal kobold. <laughs> That All right, I good. do not. I uh, do not have permission to raid. I'm doing that. I'm gonna raid. Also, this is where you can go to see the other campaign tomorrow. Colonel Shira, I just want to make sure I'm spelling her name right. Yeah, Colin. the card. Whoever whoever decided on that spelling of Colonel needs to be dragged out in the street and shot. Colonel Sheru. Colonel All right. Sheru. All right. What are our, what will our raid message be? Full metal cobalt. Full metal cobalt. All right. Get out of here, guys. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Shoot. I don't know anything about anime, and yet we're going to go into the anime <laughs> soon. Excellent. <laughs>